Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm assuming you can hear me. At least I hope you can. You've got game audio. I am being told by the chat. Okay, excellent. So, yeah, I do apologize for those of you who were hoping for Divinity Original Sin 2 tonight. I'm afraid Quartico just didn't get any sleep last night. Well, two nights. It's Australian time. Basically, there was no way she was going to be able to get up and have had in any amount of sleep, I'm afraid. So, we decided to cancel. And, of course, that means I can stream Baldur's Gate 3. Those of you who wanted Baldur's Gate 3, possibly happy. Um, oh, it's kind of it's kind of cool streaming on YouTube because I can see how many concurrent viewers I've got and how many people have hit the like button. And I can see at the moment I've got 327 concurrent viewers and only 55 likes. Which means 290 of you have not hit the thumbs up button. This is terrible. This is just unacceptable. You look, oh my god, the likes just spiked. I never do calls to action, do I? I never do, you know, click the like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon, or whatever else. But apparently, apparently I should. I always figure if people are going to like the video, they're going to like the video. But I get the feeling that sometimes people just need a prod. Guilt them. Like, oh, so you don't want to hit the like button then. There's going to be someone going, no, because you said so now. Hmm. My kids are kind of like that sometimes. Please don't. What? Can I not? Can I not? Can I not do the calls to action? Luckily for you, most of my videos, it's inappropriate. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, um, promotions and things. Often thought to myself, how would I do promotions in my videos? I did have, I did have an idea once. I don't know why. It was like one of these random thoughts that comes to my head. That if I ever did a Fallout series, I could actually have promotions in the middle. Right? And just do them in black and white with crackle effects and do the whole... <laughs> you know. Are you having problems with internet security? Well, have I got the thing for you. Just do the whole cheesy Fallout-style advert thing. That I probably would work. But then I'd have to do Fallout for the rest of my life. <laughs> Not that that's bad, because of course we've got Fallout London coming soon. We've got Fallout London soon. Um, soon. I should make a video about that, actually. End of April. I'm hoping I will have finished Cyberpunk 77 by that point, and then I can just devote myself to that. Of course, I also need some time for Stalker 2. Fallout 76. No. <laughs> uh, you have a mod that puts the promos on the Fallout TVs. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh, that's clever, that is, isn't it? That is clever. A mod that puts the promos on the Fallout TVs. Or, or, or every time I open the Pip-Boy. Or the first time I open the Pip-Boy. And then I can pretend to be completely disgusted with the adverts. <laughs> We're getting a bit meta here, aren't we? Mm. <sighs> Theme on the, uh, on the... On the playthroughs. Yeah, like, this is Commander Shepard's favourite VPN provider. I can't help but wonder there might be a lawsuit somewhere in there. I suppose Commander Shepard is not actually a real person, and I guess Bioware wouldn't... I mean... But I don't know. Doing promotions? I, I don't know. I mean, I suppose the words Commander Shepard... You're too, you're too close to the things there. Yeah, Khajiit has NordVPN. I did think about The thing is, is I, I've not used NordVPN. I used a different VPN. I've been using them for years. Um, 
But I've always felt reluctant to promote things like that because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I mean, you know. Use NordVPN. It's a VPN and they say they're very good. <laughs> um, here are the things they say about their product. <laughs> Not exactly, you know. Selling it, am I? I just think I'd be a terrible salesperson. Unless I really like something, and then I usually sell it anyway, don't I? Mm. Thank you for streaming on my birthday, Gopher. Appreciate it. You're welcome. I did it deliberately. We found out, and we thought we should stream. That is totally a true story. You have to ask, did the guys from Raid ever approach you? God, my God, are you kidding me? They're still... A they... They, I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was about my channel, but I feel like I was getting approached by them about a year or even even a bit longer, maybe 18 months, before I saw Raid Shadow Legends adverts appearing on the channels I watch. They were they were they were really, really aggressive in my direction. Um I, I wonder if I wonder if somebody there watched my stuff or something because it was a bit weird they were weirdly persistent they still are i've sent them messages but the problem is, is it's different promo teams i've sent the messages saying i don't play mobile games i know it's a it's a pc game now anyway but i just can't imagine it's a me game this is where someone goes no it's actually right up your street love your videos my rescue puppy only sleeps when your videos are on i've gone through all of skyrim se about four times now in the last two months you know th oh thank you for the super chat adam Mellis. sorry i was reading your message um it's every channel if you have a game channel they would try right but that's the weird thing john i wasn't seeing it on any other go gaming channels i was watching at that time same with NordVPN. I was seeing, I was getting loads. So I'm wondering if these, like, there's a big delay on the promotion campaigns or something. I mean, the thing is, is you have to remember that whilst I'm a very small channel, I'm also a very old channel. I've kind of been around for a while. So I was there at the start of the promotion craze. Back when it was actually bad. I mean, when I was being a, um, approached by Raid Shadow Legends... Anyone who did a promotion anyway would immediately get eviscerated by the viewers. I mean, it was quite brutal at the time. My biggest problem is I don't make enough videos where promotions make any sense. Because you, you start off, you know, in this video I'm going to show you how to do blah blah blah. But before we do that, here is a word from our sponsor. You know, and then it's like... Do you have an unsightly stain on your carpet that you would like to get rid of? Well, I recommend such and such a cleaner that I've never used and doesn't even exist in my country because it's brilliant. And then you go back to the actual video, right? The thing is, is I do mostly Let's Plays now, so it just seems a bit odd. Um. <laughs> I have no idea where I was going with this. But now, anyway, the... Th you don't have to play it. They just give you a script to read off at the beginning of every video. Yeah, but you know, you guys know me. You guys know me. If I promote a game I'm not playing, I am going to a ham it up like some weird, you know, presenter from the 1940s. At the same time as giving off the impression that there's no way in hell I'll ever play the game. I'm not the sort of person. I can't. I can't BS for real, if you get what I'm saying. I've sort of got to believe in what I'm saying if I'm going to say it. I can't. I can't. I just can't come out and... My inner snark just comes out. You guys know it. I don't... I don't have the ability to, mo to promote things I don't actually have some interest in. 90% of the channels don't use the things they shill in you. Right, but they at least sound like salespeople. I've heard them. I, I watch quite a few gaming channels, and they'll talk about things, and they, they, they put on the spiel. I'd snark. It'd be like, you know... Yes, you should use this hair product, because, you know, I mean, you've got hair, right? And you need product in your hair. I suppose, other than water.
because, you know, you don't want to end up looking like me. Oh, you don't know what I look like. Well, there you go then. And that would be my promotion for a hair product. You'd be like, yeah, not buying that. And they'd be like, yeah, not paying for another one of those. Mm. Can't do it. I snark things even when I love them. Well, it's just, you know, there it is. Anyway, what was I saying? No, we're actually, we're, we're actually supposed to be playing a game, I believe. I'm going to be a Dogecoin influencer. His face of PC gaming heroic pose. Too bad companies like Larian or Bethesda sponsor you. You mean too bad that they won't sponsor me? I'm not sure I'd take sponsorships from those companies, even though I love their products anyway. But it, that, at least, I could sort of semi-imagine. I could semi-imagine Bethesda saying, Could you do a promotional video for Fallout 76 or something? And me going, I don't know how much you're paying me. <laughs> and, then, and then doing a promotional video. Going, okay, I don't play the game, but some people love it. God, a cheese loves it. I'd still do a terrible job. And they're not going to promote me. They're not going to. They're not going to pay me to promote Skyrim, are they? Because they don't need to. They do not need to. It's just how it is. I know Lorian sponsored a few streamers though for a few hours at least. Yeah, possibly. Stream. I think sponsored streams are going to be a more of a thing. It's like a one-off event, and those I could imagine doing actually. Those some if. Uh, this is it. Gaming industry. If you want me to play your game and you'll pay me, uh, you know, uh, some money to play your game for three hours on a stream, I'll do it, probably. Depends on how bad. So, you know, I, I say that. There are plenty of games that you'd really have to pay me a lot of money to play. <laughs> They're usually the games that my chat will vote for if it comes up in a list of games they want me to play. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Hatterful Boyfriend. But anyway, so I should do something like shaving ads. <laughs> Thief. Oh yeah, they should have. They should have paid me to promote the game Thief, shouldn't they? Well-known lover of that. You really hope the Fallout 4 New Vegas mod comes out soon? I think it's gonna be a while before we get that. Analog keyboard sponsorship. Oh, oh, I would promote the hell out of the Wooting. Dear Wooting, I will promote the hell out of your product if you want to pay me. I suppose I should stop praising them in, for free in the meantime. That's probably what I should do. Stop promoting them in the meantime. Sky Oblivion. Yeah, can't wait for that as well. Raid Shadow Legends Let's Play coming. <laughs> oh, dear. Quarico not here tonight. No, 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 no. We were going to play Divinity Original Sin 2 with Quarico. She she needs a sleep. you got to remember the, the, the time of day it is there. It's ludicrous. Quite often, the first two hours getting promoted by publisher. Rebel's Eyes would probably love to do a sponsored stream with me. I'm not going to charge Rebel's Eyes money to promote Sky Oblivion. Are you nuts? I'll do that for free. <laughs> Same with Fallout London. You know, you guys know me. Especially if the mod's free. If the mod's free, I'm, I'm... Here's the thing, though. Now we've got these paid creations, and I know... Death of modding, yada, 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 blah, 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 right? Things like Sky Oblivion. I mean, obviously, it's too late now, I think. I don't think Sky Oblivion could go into the paid creation anyway. Although it's not actually an existing mod yet. Um... But I think they would also have huge problems because the whole thing's been a free endeavor so far. So how would they split the money? It would have to be a team that starts from scratch. And probably Sky Oblivion, no anyway, because it's got intellectual property from Bethesda. But Fallout London, for example, Fallout Miami, um, Enderall, things like that. I could see 
games like that coming out on the creation thing, that's what I was always hoping the creation club would, would get. That's Well, not hoping. That's what I, I said before they released the Creation Club, when they first announced it. I said the one way that this would be really interesting for me is if they release big stuff that I'm actually genuinely interested in, you know, playing and would pay money for. So, rumors are around that Test 6 is coming out in 2026. I don't see how. And if it does, there will be a huge backlash because it will basically be a slightly updated version of Elder Scrolls V. Now, I'm for it. I'm there for it. I will accept, I would accept Test 6 to just be slightly better than Skyrim and actually just have a whole new land with a whole new set of adventures because I still love bloody Skyrim. Obviously, I want it to look a little better, etc. But I'm not going to demand a lot of the things that other people are demanding. But, and I'm in a minority. I've got a feeling at the moment Bethesda are probably going away after Starfield going, you know what, we're going to have to do something with Test 6. I mean, they're already said, they've already said it's going to be on the same engine. I'm wondering if they might even be contemplating making the huge shift. Oh God, that was, that was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. But that's probably my thumbs way of saying... Get on with it! Alright, let's... Let's play. So! Still haven't quite decided. I've not decided. Are we going in here? I have to admit, I feel like I want... Where, where was the other... Let's have a look, we've got a map. Is there something to like... Find a cure. Daughter of Darkness. Continue traveling with Shadowheart. We learned that Shadowheart needs to reach Baldur's Gate to fulfill a mission for her goddess. Though the details of that mission are a mystery. We recruited a half-elf named Shadow... Oh, that's the first. I'm le reading them in the wrong order. The Pale Elf. We met a strange elf who had also been infected with a parasite and had very long teeth and red eyes. He was hostile at first, but agreed to join us when he learned we were infected too. The Wizard of Waterdeep. A wizard named Gade joined the party. He claims to have been on the Nautiloid, which means he's infected too. And we all need to find a cure because we've escaped the hells on the Nautiloid and crashed somewhere back in the material plane. We need to explore the area and find a healer. And so, in actual fact, no time to rest. this is not remotely a distraction. We need to be just wandering around and finding a healer. It's a chapel! A chapel! Where else? Saved, twisting, but... What the hell's that sound? And what's a twisting vine? I, something, did something try to get me? Okay, everyone come over here. What are the twisting vines trying to do? Can we... Oh, someone told me that if I do... Oh, that's not good. Oh, no, somebody told me that if I did... If I press the home key... Nope, that does not do anything. Uh, it would unlink everyone, but that just doesn't seem to be the case. Say, so, 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 the twisting vines, what do they do? Do they just... I feel like I want to know. Do I... I feel like I want to... Walk into the middle of them. Do they grapple me? Can I set fire to them? I probably don't want to use fire. Unlink all is G. Oh, look at that. Right. No one back home will ever believe this. There's a dirt mound. Okay. I'm going to dig up the dirt mound. I need a shovel to dig this up. I am not going to dig up the dirt mound. Does anybody have a shovel? Um Shovel anybody? No, you've got sword. But you probably don't have the proficiency for it. 
mind you, does it do much more? Oh, it does a little more damage. Question mark. Whatever comes, I'm ready. I wanna. What? What was it you had? You. How do I find out your proficiencies again? Notable features, dexterity. Yeah, slight confusion. Proficiency bonuses, armor, simple weapons, martial weapons. Oh, so weren't it? Flares, glaives, upon morning stars, pipes, so simple weapons. Light hammers, great clubs, daggers, maces, short bows, unknown and unknown. She's no idea what she's proficient with. There are two types of weapons. She's no idea about them, but probably, probably is proficient in them. Okay. All right. I've got a long road Me, road. I've got simple weapon, martial weapons, and musical instrument. All right. So, armor. Light armor and medium armor. Yeah, okay, this is not helping though. Does, does nobody have a shovel? I don't think they do. I really would like to figure out a way of... Time to press ahead. Okay, so there's a chapel there. Okay, somebody. Oh, twisting vines. You both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... When it's Mari and Barton. Got ourselves competition already. I don't know what the hells you are, but that's our ship. Persuasion. I wouldn't go near it. Deception. I think it's an invasion force. Run while you can. Intimidation. The only thing you would... Get. That is my kin's prize, not yours. Nope, you are welcome to it. But honestly, I wouldn't go near it. The full the ship is full of monsters. I would not go down there. Trust me, I'm doing you a favor. All right, what bonus can we have? F f ooh, enchantment cantrip. C can I use cantrips more than once? I only need 10 and I've already got plus 5 and I, I can do this one already, so that's 6 to 9. I mean, do I really need to use it? Oh. I'm gonna use it. I'm going to use it or I'm just using it. I'm using it, whether I like... Wait, what does this... Wait. What did that do? What, what, what did this do? Gain advantage on charisma checks against non-hostile creature. This spell can be cast while you are silenced. In higher difficulty modes, the target might accuse you of enchanting them. Oh, does that give me two die and I take the highest? Oh, okay. All right then. Oh, 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 Dibber, Dibber, and critical success. Well, uh, in that case, Come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese! Now move it! Okay! Wait. You're more cunning than you look. I thought we had a fight on our hands. What, did you want to fight? Didn't see a real... N cracked stone. Plaque. Oh, there's a plaque. Let's... let's read the plaque time and the elements have left the plaque unreadable okay that's slightly annoying okay so we've got i'm just gonna have a look around Ooh, probably a good job we avoided a fight we'd uh probably not have dragon egg mushroom that'll fit in my pack Recipe unlocked. Ashes of a dragon egg mushroom. Okay. All right, well, let's just keep looking around. It's let's that move. to follow, isn't it? 
It's a shame I can't. I sort of feel like I want to wander around. All right. And a wooden crate with purple grapes and a fish. Camp supplies, of course. All right. There's possibly something on the outside. I don't think this is the sort of chapel where we're going to find a healer. I think this is where the crypt is. Now, their friends already went inside. I think. I think those are the people we met. Cracked stone. Okay, I'm going to use... There's something underneath here. There's something underneath here. Okay. Um. That's not helpful. How about... What's next, I wonder? Can I get her to attack? This. Where is that? <laughs> nope. Okay. Can we... Blast it? No, probably not. All right, right. You guys stay. What, what have we? Never happened? wanted the easy path. Okay. Oh, didn't check in there, did I? All right. We have got burlap sack. No traps, please. Mushroom and a. Let's not say. Oh, 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 rope. Could that help? Disarm kits and a torch and some other stuff. Lots of useful stuff, but not. Okay, and this just takes me. Oh, what was through? Through there. We're. Okay, dokie then, I think, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, how about... How... Can I use that? Can I just... It wouldn't take much to send that stone crashing downwards. No, no, no it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. But, okay, can I shoot it? Can I shoot it? I need to get an angle on it. And unfortunately, right now... Let's have a look. I... Oh, it's probably easier to run around like this, you know. Can I get up there? I can! I can't... All right, tell you what. Can I shoot? All right. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God, you were too... Cl oh! Oh, wow! I am so... Ridiculously sorry. I am like the most sorry person that has ever existed. Okay. Can I just keep casting this? No. How many times could I? Oh, probably, probably, probably that's. Ah, did I have a number of them or something? Can be replaced on level up spell using. Okay. I wonder what the next move is. Okay, so 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No. I don't get spell slots, but apparently I got a certain number of I got a certain number of healing words, so I could remember... Could I remember a lot more of them and forget things like hideous laughter? Not that they... I mean, it's only a cantrip anyway, isn't it? It's bonus action. Speak with anim... Wait. Speak with animals? Right. Okay. So basically, I just used all the healing. But then I had to anyway. I almost killed her. What's next? She does have some healing, but I... I, I... Now... I can change these, right? But it doesn't change what she's currently got. It doesn't change what she's currently got. I'm just... I'm... 
giving serious thought to, to taking more damage. Don't touch me. Me, 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 me. Okay, but well, she's not. She's not that bad. She's not that bad. All right. But out of curiosity, what the hell does that do? We, we opened it. Okay. Wait, there's water down there. I, I, do I know there's water down there? Just <sighs> One day I'll catch a break. I think we can just drop down there. Big question is, or we could go to the door and use a lockpick, I'm guessing. But I don't need to now. That saves a lockpick, and I feel like that might be a smart idea. I'm also thinking I should give lockpicks... Uh, sorry, yeah, thieves' tools and trap disarm kits to a stallion. Rope. Hmm. Tell you what, I'm going to give you a torch. Can I... You want to use... Oh, it's... That's your melee. Where? Oh, no. Go put it. Okay, what? What is that symbol? Wait, it keeps putting it back in my... When is that my torch? No, I've I've got already got a torch and I just picked one up. What is the symbol on there? That seems to be different to mine. This is this is a, this is one to seven damage. Does bludgeoning and fire damage. This just does bludgeoning. And is very what? Sim. Oh, that's the one I've got equipped. That's the one I could give to him, maybe. No. Can I not? Oh, he's got... Right, I don't want you to have one. I see now. When I give it to him, he automatically equips it. I don't drag it there. Got it. I've got this one equipped. She doesn't currently have one. I feel like she should probably have it. Because he's probably got the ability to cast light spells. Soul coin. There's a simple robe. Studded shield. Who else might want a shield? Do you want a shield? You don't look like a shield user to me. I will be honest. But then... Studded shield? St Why is this studded shield... Oh, I've got plus four. Okay, I'm not understanding this, am I? What is this? This, both, this gives me two extra armor class. Gives her two armor class. Alright, you know what? Stop worrying about it. Okay, guys... Can we go in there? Oh! Answer? Oh. Was that a bad idea? Ow! Right! I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that was a terrible sodding idea. Um But wait a minute. These guys are these guys are moving and then shooting and then move it. All right, this is a starion. What can he do? He can hide. S stick to the dark and avoid enemy sight lines. He's not going to be able to do that, is he? How the hell is he going to do that from here? I mean, how do I don't? I just do not. Well, I've got no choice but to fight them now. Ah. Uh, because they're not stupid enough to... Because, I mean, we could try and get them to come in. Force them through a... Through a... But they don't. They just sort of... All right. Okay. So I can move a little bit. Does that get in sight? Does that get in sight? Be quick. And then... 65%. What else has he got? Sneak attack? Ranged? Move out of sight of the enemy. Hide. Hidden as... Oh, I should have done this before. I should have done this before, right? I should have done this before because he's not out of sight of the enemy. Must have advantage. So, so I need... I need to... 
I need to go stealth, move, and then... Alright, that's... that's... what is... Will shooting that blow it up? No, but it will blast oil everywhere. All right, I don't think he has any other options right now. So I kind of want to get him out of sight and then enter. Him. Can't stay idle. Do I have anything that does fire? No. She gets a move before Gale does. Gale is the one I want to do stuff with. Items. Do I have anything? What is this? Spiked bulb. Okay. The barbs inside this bulb explode on impact, making all creatures nearby bleed. Big question. Will that explode and set fire to things? I do not know. I do not know. Passives. All right. Then I do genuinely have no idea what I would do other than just shoot, I guess. Who's that? That is Mari. She's the one who's going to get a move. Can I? Piercing strike. This is this is with this, right? Uh, we got piercing shot. Oh god, that's no, no. Alright, so I've got absolutely sod all chance of hitting with that. Astral knowledge? Perform? No. Weakening strike. Bard. Anything I could do as a bard? Answer, no. Didn't I give myself speak with animals? Opportunity. I forgot to give myself speak with animals. Not that that would be useful now. Um... Oh... Right, who's... I, I don't I don't really feel like I've got much of a thing I can do. I think I'm just going to go here. Ready. And then I'm going to shoot you. And hope like hell I've got a chance of it. I've got no chance of hitting. Okay. Nope. Let's move you to the side. End turn. Oh. Gale. Please stay alive long enough. Please tell me that this will work. Oh. Pl this was set fire. Is that another explodey barrel? Okay. But surely I can just... I could just shoot the floor here, right? I could just shoot the floor. Oh, yeah. All right, does, do you have any bonus actions that might be useful? Uh, yeah, you can use a potion. And then you can just... Go back. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Shadow Heart. Uh, this guy's really strong. Okay, first of all, let's have a look what our options are. Shield of Faith. Guiding Bolt. The next attack roll against this target has advantage. What else then? Sacred Flame. I, I feel like this... This is... We need something big right now. We need something really... Stupidly charm person. That just stops it from attacking us. Invoke duplicity. Distract the enemy with an illusion. Oh, can I do that? So that they all attack it. I mean if I if I put that here, will that keep them out while we all Oh I don't know though. I sort of feel like we really need to get some bloody damage done. I really do. It's either that or try to... Strike your enemies with an illusion. Attack rolls have advantage for you and your allies. Both the attacker and the creature must be within three meters of the illusion. But they're all going to come within the door, so... 
Oh, probably not, actually. They're probably not, are they? They're probably just going to ignore it. I'm just going to see if I can... S oh, 65%. Missed. Oh, we're dead. Well, we're all dead. This was the world's shortest playthrough. Um, Who needs the healing more than anyone else? Gale. Right. Okay, Gale. Take two. All right, and then I'm just going to move her to this side so we're all split up a little bit. And then, uh... My turn! No, Astarion's turn. Oh, there's no way he's going to get a stealth attack now, is is it? I mean... You have advantage on an... an you have an advantage on attacking an enemy, letting you sneak and deal more damage. I mean, that, that isn't going to work, is it? You must have advantage. Oh, we've got advantage against this guy. Oh, I should have. You know what? I should have. Can I? Can I delay turn? Is that a thing? Delaying turn? Because I think I'd like to get Reginald's bonus. But I don't think I'm going to, am I? Old shift. Okay, that's not really helpful, but okay. I'm just gonna... Oh! That did a fair amount of damage, though. Flourish! Or... Potion of heal. I feel like he needs to heal. Oh, uh, okay. I'm just going to move him. Oh, leaving an enemy's melee range allows them to attack. Was he in melee? Oh, of course he was. Oh, crap. Okay. Then, uh, that was stupid. Cantrips, nothing. Enter. All right. breathing, despite everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Piercing strike. 36%? Are you fluffing kidding me? 36%. Oh, well, that's just absolutely brilliant, isn't it? What else can we do, then? Weakening strike. Non-lethal that does... Nope, I'm just... Not gonna hit him. That's... No, no, well, if I'm not gonna hit him, I might as well not hit him with something big. Oh! I got him, though! I got him! Dip, uh, shove, flourish. Come on, come on! Uh, okay, well... Okay, missed, missed. Alright, Gale? What have you got? Now, wait a minute, doesn't get Gale... Gale is... He has an ability. I've forgotten where I find all this stuff. He has an ability to... The evocation. Doesn't he have it so that he doesn't... Doesn't he have it so that he doesn't do damage to people? With his spells? I can't remember, and I can't remember where the hell I would find this. Um, oh. Sculpt spells. Create pockets of safety within your evocation spells. Allies automatically succeed their saving throws against these spells. So it's got to be evocation. That is evocation. That, thunder wave. Okay, that's probably just a bolt. That's a bolt. Grease. Ray of Frost and Mage Arm. I'm thinking Thunder Wave, which is evocation. Oh, wait. It, what the hell is that? Is that where it'll hit? Is that where it'll hit? I mean... Okay, right, okay. 
What's that? Target is blocked. There's someone else on the other side. So he can get two of them? He can get... Oh, no. Does that... Does that mean it's going to go a little beyond as well? Oh, it might. I, oh, if he gets a bit closer, he could get three of them. So if he gets to, like, here... Oh, it's not going to work, is it? All right, okay, you know what? Oh, it knocks... Oh, is that where it knocks him back to? Got it! Oh, right, that actually helps. Oh, pile of books. Brilliant, awesome. Um, What cantrips does he have? He's got a healing one, but he doesn't need it at the moment. All right. Okay, I, th I sold... Ensnared. Oh, well, that's awesome. Oh, I'm dead. Brilliant! Okay, so she... Oh, well, what's she got that she can do? Guiding bolt, evocation spell, 56. We need... We need to absolutely obliterate, but I, I really would like to get... She has a healing she could do on me to get me up. Cantrip. All right, but I, I really want to... Okay, come on. Critical hit! Yes! Yes! All right. Oh, no, she's already used that. She's already you. You know what? She needs... She needs a potion herself. She needs a potion herself. She needs a potion herself. All right. Okay. Oh. Okay. I've got to end turn for her, haven't I? There's nothing I can do. All right. Gale, please don't die. A starion. Sneak attack ranged. Must have advantage. All right. When it must have advantage. Would it also be if he was not in sight? Like, so for example, if he went here and then into the shadows, and then went oh here, could he do? Oh, he's already used... Oh, sneak is an action. Sneak is an actual action. Is it? Oh, well, that sucks. All right, well, that's your turn wasted. Mm-hmm. Can't hit you. 70%. Fire. 70%. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice! Uh, I'm going to use the potion because he's going to be going down as well. Alright. Okay. She... Does she even have potions? She's got two. Alright, good. However, right, she's got a firebolt. Uh, wait, what's that one? Turn undead. No, not useful. Guidance. Nice, but not useful. Sacred flame. Is that better? Target cannot be an inanimate object. 45% nope. with that. Oh, God. No, wait, wait, wait. Common? Oh, that's a cantrip. Wait, if that's a cantrip, oh, but it still takes an action. All right. No, 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 no. Oh, nice, 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 nice. I think, I think that's nice. Take a potion. Oh. All right, all right, okay. So, what was this? This was hide. Takes an action. Is... All right, there's... Common. Rogue. Yeah, so, cunning action, hide. That takes a bonus action. That hide takes a full action. But is he still hidden? 
can I tell if he's hidden? I can't tell if he's hidden. I don't think he is, is he? I don't think he's actually hidden. Because we would see... All right, you know what? Let's try that then. Cunning hide. Let's have a little fun. All right. And then... Oh. And then... Where was it? Sneak attack. I'm wondering whether I should do it against... Oh, no. Must have advantage? Oh, so... 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 That doesn't actually... That doesn't actually do anything. I don't I don't get advantage over them, so I can't do I can't do sneak attack. Oh, alright. Oh, I've not sneaked. Okay. Oh fine. Whatever. Nice! Was that him dead? Alright. Okay. Okay. How many turns how long have we got to get me up? Alright. Okay, okay. This is not this this is Okay. Wait, I'm not gonna No, I'm not gonna hit a star am I? Alright! Oh ho ho! Oh, you don't like the away game, do you? You don't like the away game? No! What the hell's that? Arcane recovery chart. What the hell does that do? Can only be used outside of replenished spell slots while out of combat. Oh. Okay, so that's that's for late. That's for later. Stay focused. Stay focused. Safe. I tell you what. Oh, she doesn't have the heal now. Can she? Can she get me up? Wait. What does that? Does that mean run over there and get up? Because I've not selected anything, have I? I'm t guessing that takes an action. On your feet. Okay. But does that used her action? That's used her action. Uh. And then she's now in view of them. Tell you what, just move over there to try and get out of view. Gale's taking some damage. But that's fine. Make it hurt. Oh! I said that wasn't Gale, that was a Starion. Oh, I... F okay, that was unfortunate. All right. Okay. Still on my feet. So he... Yes, I am. I am still on my feet and in desperate need of healing. All right, that, that's... I don't want to use many more of these things, but what else can I do to help along? I... Wait. Oh, that's all my actions gone. So, nothing. Alright. So. Nice! Oh, y'all alone! Oh! Oh, sh... I double clicked and turn. I double clicked and goddamned turn. All right. Okay. We'll do it my way. Oh, okay. So, so we are. We're actually hidden. Okay. Time to move. <laughs> oh, Bobby! <laughs> Oh! Still breathing. Team! Everything. Awesome! Oh yeah! Wow! So that kind of went... Well, it could have gone worse. It could have gone worse. Oh. I'm thinking we just take a very, very quick break. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look. Did I miss anything? And I missed a $10 super chat. I am very sorry about that. I missed a $10 super chat by Sean Cushing. And just like that, Gopher is out of spell slots. Yeah. 
Yeah, bards can't use shields. Okay, that is good to know. That is that is very good to know. So I I not proficient with shields. Ah, should have read. There's no time to waste. Okay, she is proficient with shields. You have my attention. All right. So is is that what caused me to fail badly? I somehow doubt it. Okay. Probably, I'm gonna need. I'm probably gonna need to make a camp, aren't I? I'm probably gonna need to make a camp. But we'll do that when I get back. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, and I did forget, didn't I? When I come back, I got something to play. Okay, I am back. What did I miss? A, an 89 New Zealand, is that? New Zealand dollar super chat. Thank you very much, PW7. 
Happy belated New Year's from New Zealand. Hope your New Year's have been going smoothly. Keep up the awesome content, Gopher. Thank you very much. Oh. Oh. Yeah, no, I've got there's something I gotta do before before we start. But yeah, I just found out this one of the one of the neighbors lives way above us. They've been putting like pictures that their four year old's been drawing on their door and and someone's been ripping them. And it's happened several times apparently. They sent a message around asking us if, you know, we know what's going on. Apparently it's happened in more than one block, so I don't, I don't, I don't know who it could be. Sounds like someone's got either a bit of a grudge against a couple of the kids, or it's just another one of the kids who thinks it's hilariously funny to run around vandalizing. <sighs> it's awful when you hear things like that. All right, but before we start... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. In order to ensure the highest possible quality of stream, please acquaint yourself with the following guidelines. Number one. No spoilers and no backseat gaming. I realize that it is extremely tempting to shout out advice or scream, he's behind you, when the bad guy appears, but if you could refrain from doing so, it would greatly reduce the stress on other viewers and the moderators. There could be exceptions to this rule if I get completely lost and end up basically asking for advice, but you'll know when that happens because I'll probably be going, okay, chat, I'm completely lost, help me out. Number two, be nice. This is a pretty broad guideline, but it includes things like being polite to people, trying not to pick fights, no profanity, and of course, no bigotry. Number three, no drama. This is an extension of number two, really, be nice, but it includes the guideline of not engaging in controversial subjects that are not related to the stream at hand. The world is a difficult place. There are serious issues that need to be discussed by serious people at a serious place and in a serious manner. This is not that place or time. This is a place for people to leave their cares and worries behind and just have some fun. So please leave any issues you have at the door and just enjoy yourself. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to play that at the start, didn't I? New member, Marcus Wetlaufer. Thank you very much. Looking at the numbers again, we've got 711 concurrent viewers and only 314 likes. See, I'm on top of this now. I can see the numbers. That's 403 of you who've not clicked the like button. How dare you? Uh, I'm going to become a tyrant. That is what I'm going to become. A tyrant! For the thumbs up. Oh, we've got the emote now, don't we? Do we have the emote? I think we got the emote. We've got... we got the emote. Yep. Get out. I've been adding emotes. I told you, professional streamer right here. Know what I'm doing. Yes, I do. <sighs> All right. So what did I, what did, what did I miss? Overwhelming urge to press dislike successfully checked. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How am I liking the game so far? It's great. It's having fun. It's early stages, though. The game is awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've not played enough to go for awesome. I'm having fun. I like it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've, this is probably, this is like my second fight and I've barely scratched anything, so. Hmm. FK, we nagged him to add the emotes for you members. That's a terrible thing to say about the streamer. The fact that it's completely true is utterly irrelevant. <laughs> it is true. Without these guys, I'd, <laughs> there'd be nothing going on. There'd be nothing going on.
Okay. Oh, can we camp in here? Should we camp in here? Should we not, first of all? Yes, why not? Loot all the people. Oh. Okay, we'll, 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 loot, we'll loot everyone. We will loot what to do? everyone. There's a lever there. And then, and then we will wander back into the room. How You're much carrying much too much. Oh, stop complaining. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, and unlink. Close the door. I to put my hands on everything. <laughs> Close the door. Close the door. There you go. Take it within there. Take it within there. Oh, rustic chest. Taking everything there. And there are beds. Can we sleep here? Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we absolutely need some sleep here. here. I really do. Because I'm... Well, I used all of my abilities. Uh, rags. Rusty. I probably shouldn't be taking absolutely everything now that I think about it. Ooh, it's nice, isn't it? Look at that. Was there anything else? Have we missed anything? Have we... No. All right. I, I currently am carrying too much, so you guys are going to have to have... The big question now is, should I... Should I stick with the hand crossbow? I sort of think I should, but maybe I should give... Can she use... She is... She's proficient with that weapon, right? Just... Just in case. Can I sell this stuff? I can probably sell this stuff. I mean, it's just... Do we have... Oh, we have add to wares. Who should we have carrying all the crap to sell? Oh, I should do all the selling. I am absolutely Mr. Charming. Can't. Great axe. Ooh, dagger. Now, he's got a dagger. Should he dual wield? I think that's a no. Okay. Scimitar. I still think rapier for him. I really do. Okay, I'm going to keep this just in case we find someone who can use it. I'm going to add this to wares. What else should I add to wares? Probably everything. Eventually, I'm going to want to dump it. War pick. Can I, can I use it to mine things? Probably not. Simple robe. Nope. Not useful. Studded shield. Bronze necklace. Is that something we should... Yeah, we'll add that to us as well. Oh my god, we've got... Right, on death and resurrection. An excerpt from the ongoing metatext. Rebound by Iosefa... Iosefa Elgin. A scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier for her heretical efforts to reconstruct the metatext. Her gods... Annal of lost and hidden knowledge. Of what value is life? Far too esoteric a topic to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages, so it would seem at first glance. But once we... Have I read this? Well, I've read that. I've read that. I'm going to... Can I send that to camp? I can send that to camp. Perfumed letter. Have I read this? Yeah, I've read... That we need to find someone, don't we? Shanties of the Bitch Queen. I've read that, so we're gonna send that to camp just in case. Alchemist's fire. Oh. Hurl a flask of liquid fire. I can these be crafted? Can gems be crafted? Are bottles needed for crafting components? I mean I would have thought so, actually. But things like cups, I would have thought that's where's uh, dark mind. More glad. I suppose I should just wait and see. Actually, okay, we got short bow. Who had a bow? You had a short bow. Four to nine, three to eight. Short bow, three to eight. Leather armor. Okay, I've got. I've got to know. Mm, no, no, no. However, what about you? What have you got? Mm, padded armor. 
Let's see how you look with leather armor. Mmm, no, no, totally no, absolutely no. Right, um, what do we have here? Simple robe. Journey through the jungle. The sun had just fallen beyond below the horizon when I first heard its call. A thousand reed pipes at once, whistling a single beautiful, terrible voice. Ulu Thalong, said Jaw. It's coming. Jaw dropped, dropped her pack and scurried up the nearest beater, biter. With a bit more effort, I climbed a tree of my own, and the two of us surveyed the grassy ground beneath. Ah, woo, there it is, was again, above and beneath and all around, so close my skull vibrated from the sound. The ferns, the foliage under me rippled and swayed. Jaw held her finger to her lips to demand my silence, and in one motion it snatched her, a vine, a tentacle. It hardly mattered. The hunter had found its prey. Jaw's screams swelled and faded as Alu Thalong dragged her away. I leapt down to give chase, but the creature left no mark behind. The grasses were untrampled, the shrubs unbroken. I had only the memory of that harrowing call to guide me. Ooh, okay, that was weird. Leather gloves. Okay. Uh, mm, do I think that's an improvement? No, I don't. How about you? Mm, also, no. Be honest with you, definitely not. Not feeling it. Leather boots instead of leather boots. What has everyone got? Leather boots. Leather boots. Leather boots. I would be selling all this. But I'm still probably carrying a little too much, so I'm going to have to, um... i tell you what I should have. I should have one... What am I putting in there? I should have one backpack just for stuff that I'm intending to sell, I think. What about that, then? A pouch. Let's just... Stuff that we intend to sell. Let's see how much I can stick in here. Let's see if it just keeps going up endlessly. Probably not. Okay. War pick. I can't see that they are wares. Wait. They're, they're no longer added to wares in there? That seems... Seems annoying. Control shift click. What what does that do? Oh wait, 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 wait. Can I do Ah Alright Bewildered Adventurous Pack. What was that? Okay, let's just Void bulb. I don't know if that's any good. All right. Quarter staff. Great club. Nope. I'm gonna get rid of that. And that. And that. Javelins and a quill. I don't know about that. All right. That's a little better. Although, it doesn't stop me from being overloaded. And then, how do I sort? I can't sort. Right. What? Well, what was this one? We had. Bewildering. Ah, this this had stuff that I definitely wanted to keep. So this will be... This will be my... Right, what's that? That's the pouch. That's for cells. Stuff I'm selling. This is for stuff I'm keeping. That's a random backpack that I definitely don't care about right at the moment. All right. Brilliant. So... I'm thinking we should camp. I'm definitely thinking we should camp because, frankly, can I? Do I have enough camp stuff? That's a good question, really, isn't it? All right, how do I do this? By type. All right, that works. That works, actually. That generally works. Right, so my camp supply. Can I see how many... Why, I've only got one of those now? I had a load of those before. Where have they gone? Ooh, 
Where have they gone? All my camp supplies disappeared. Huh. Inventory controls. Oh, nice. I, I had several... Where are they? Of these. I'm sure I had. Oh, did I use them? I probably used them. Didn't I? All right. Oh, 239 camp supplies. Right, okay. And... I need 40 for a long rest. I definitely at least need the short rest, but at this point, I'm actually thinking I could possibly do with more, because we've we've used all the spells, don't we? So I feel like at this point, I need the long rest. What do you guys think? Do I need the long rest, or just the short rest and show, soldier on? Hmm. Let's... Let's go to camp. Oh! I shall not ask where we did all this. Uh, okay. Uh we got here? Chandelier and nothing. Granite bench. Traveler's chest. Ha! Yeah, I love the fact that we brought all that with us. Although, I think what I should probably do right now is because I'm... I don't know. Yeah, I, I probably... Is needle any good? It's not something that um, a stallion might use. I just, I feel like the rapier does more damage, but e either way, I'm thinking of... Oh, I can't... Oh. What, what, can I leave this... Can I not leave the chest somewhere, or have I got to empty it? Hmm. Like, for example, if I do this... Can I now put that in? I can. It's got to be empty. Okay. Um. Right. That's probably going to help a tiny bit. Uh, journey through the jungle. Yeah, yeah, that can stay. I'm. Where was that other backpack? Oh, I was going to say. Can I? Mm, no. I want a place just for books. I wish I could sort this. I can't really sort it exactly, if you know what I mean. Like, I want subsections. A book section. Uh, but I'm not going to get one. Invasion plans for the Sword Coast. I'm going to keep that just in case. Everything else do I need? A Dark Mind, for exa example? I feel like those could be important at some point, but they are quite heavy. Lithid Manuscript. Nautiloid Tank. I mean, they're not... That, for example, doesn't look like it's wor worth much, but it's possibly something that could be useful later on. All right. Quill. Soul coin. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave that stuff there. That gets me a bit lighter. And. Backpack just for the books. Yeah, but unfortunately, you can't leave them in that chest. You cannot leave them in the chest. In a backpack. And I don't want to take them. Wait a minute. A back, do, do books do books weigh things? They do. They weigh something, you see. So I, I don't want to use them, basically. I don't want to carry them. You can, you can. But it wouldn't let me put that chest while it had stuff in it. But it would let me put a backpack. Okay, okay. I, I shall take everybody's word for it. I tried to store the chest into itself. Oh, did I? Was that... Oh, all right. So, what you're saying is... I can... Store, like, some of the really, really cool stuff that I might absolutely want to keep there. And then store it 
in here. Ah, brilliant. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right. And then I will have that backpack. I'm going to have to keep taking everything out every time I want to add things to it, though. But all right, that's okay. At least I can, at least I can do some sorting every now and again, which will hopefully make it a tad easier. All right. Okay. Nice. Good to know. All right. And... Is it what was around there? Where is everyone? I can't actually see them. Right, this is my, uh, my magic mirror of... Make yourself less... Oh, rows of books. Oh, wait! No, I can store all my books there, can't I? I tell you what, are there, are there books in the other camp? Because if, if there are not, if there is, like, for example, is there a backpack here? Can I s store things, like, all over? Or do these... Only one way to find out, isn't there? Oh, they didn't go to camp? Are you kidding me? Oh, really? Okay, that... Not gonna lie. Little annoying. Just 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 putting that out there. Little annoying. Uh I'm going to leave a plate. Only the things in the traveler chest will travel. So if I put books in the bookcase, I'll lose them. Okay. All right. Well, that's a shame, because that would have been nice to have a nice little, you know. But anyway, so so now I actually just have to leave the camp, because apparently I didn't take everyone with me. And now if I, t if I take them, they will. Okay, that's a little better, isn't it? Okay. I want to have a word. You're not first in magic, are you? Well, hmm. Pester me another time. Uh, no, I'm not. Why do you ask? No matter to worry the unlettered over. Uh, if you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Okay, I can I can probably do that. The Starion. So we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own portal. <laughs> Hardly a promising introduction. Yeah. Uh, I, I picked you up after you tried to stab me. Just saying. How about you? I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. <laughs> Gale seems interesting. Okay. I want to talk about what's happened to us. We should... No, no, I want to have talk about what's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? How am I holding up in your estimations? No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm good. I don't need to know that at the moment. It's not been that long. Okay, so, while we're here... Right, so, for example... Can I change... I, I can't change... Can I not change these? Can I not change these? Why can't I change these? I can change her. I can't afford to stay idle. All right. Bonus actions. All right, so she's got Disguise Self and Charm Person. What could she learn instead? Oh, no, these... Oh, these are unlimited. Are they, does this mean unlimited? She can cast Disguise... Charm Person and Disguise Self as often as she likes, but I can't change this. I think. Whereas... What about cantrips? Or are cantrips just things she can just cast all the time. That takes an action. That takes an action. As does that. So these take action, but she can't forget them, for example. She can't remember them. So basically, she's got Cure Wounds, 4 to 11, Healing Word, which is the cantrip. But question, why would she want to learn the cantrip, Healing Word, Oh, because it doesn't take an action. Because it doesn't take an action. Um, alright. 
All right, okay, so she's got Cure Wounds. That does one die three plus three. This does one die four plus three. I mean, that does more healing, but uses an action. I feel like the cantrips are more useful, but honestly, I want more. Right, Inflict Wounds. Level one Necro... Right, Sanctuary. You are an ally cannot be targeted until you attack or harm a creature. You can take damage from the spells. It lasts... So anyone who's in a little bit of trouble... Could be taken out of it. Protection from evil, good. Create or destroy water. Command. Command a creature to flee. Bless. Bless up to three creatures. They gain plus one die for bonus to attack rolls and saving throws for ten turn. Could that be useful in combat? I feel like bless could be useful. Cure wounds melee. Hmm. So she has to be right next to someone to... I mean, healing cure wounds is going to be something she does after a battle. We don't want to be use, using actions mid-battle. We don't. We want to be using our actions to destroy things. This one, Guiding Bolt, seems to be a good idea. I'm not completely sure how I feel about... Right, that's a necromancy spell. That's an evocation spell. What? What is her... Um... Does she have any preference for spells? Doesn't look like it, does it? Um, Shield of Faith? I feel like that's a complete waste of time. I mean, two armor class... Oh. Mm. Mm. I'm... Mm. No, not necessarily. I mean, that's quite a lot, isn't it? It is quite a lot. Two armor class is quite a lot. But I like Guiding Bolt. Yeah, okay. I mean, two... Mm. But who to give it to? That's the problem. It's who to give it to. I mean, like, I almost feel like... Yeah. I mean, I feel like drop that and get two of... Oh, can she not get... Can she not get two of things? Oh. That sort of sucks. Hmm. Yeah, it's, I mean, one die four bonus to attack rolls and save those for an entire combat sounds pretty damned good, to be honest. Why would I need two guiding bolts? Oh, can she just keep casting guiding bolt? Did, I did, I cost it twice, didn't I? I keep... Right, my, my thought process is here is she... I'm thinking old D&D &D rules, aren't I? You learn the spell and then once it's cast, you've lost it. All right. Okay, so you can cast it. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll leave that with that. I'm going to go with Bless, though. It costs spell slots, but not spells. Yeah, the rules have definitely changed. i got to remember that. He doesn't need to learn anything. Oh, ready for you. All right, let's have a look. Sleep. I... Didn't find sleep hugely useful. Grease. Cover the ground in grease, slowing creatures when it possible, making them fall to prop. Uh, let's have a look. Magic missile. Yeah. Are there any of these that are... I I honestly found Thunder Wave. So, it, basically then, like, if we got rid of sleep and then took... Th we can't take Thunder Wave twice, but we can just keep casting Thunder Wave. All right. Mage armor. That isn't useful. Well, it... No, it was... Made, oh, it might have been useful to him, actually. Now that I think about it. Fog cloud. Blinds and heavily obscures creatures within it. <sighs> Could that be good? To, to force... To force enemies to come through a door. Put a fog cloud. Like, in that, in the, in that last fight, if I had to put a fog cloud outside, they would have had to have come through the door, right? To attack. Magic missile can't miss. That would seem to be better than... See, I'm not, I'm not loving Greece. I'm not loving Greece. I'm thinking Magic Missile, all the damage, but, but like, Shock, probably good if someone stood in water, right? But, like, Sleep... I can't sleep on them, and they just run up to each other and hit each other. I guess that takes a round, but it didn't... Okay, let's have a look. Mage, armor, thunder, wave, sleep. Okay, yeah. I 
I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I can see this, though. If we'd have put Greece outside... If we'd have put Greece outside, when they moved towards the door, they might have fallen and lost their turn, right? Also, could we have set fire to the Greece, or is it... Oh, Greece is flammable. I'm leaving that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm leaving that. I'm just changing lightning to magic missile. That's what I'm doing. And I can't change my abilities. I can't change mine. Crappity crap crap. Because <laughs> I want to take something that does damage. Here's the weird thing. What, I can only cast these... I have a certain number of times... Bardic Inspiration. How, how many times can I cast each spell? Because I could only cast Healing Word three times before I ran out of them. Which was frustrating. I can only cast three spells in total. So once I've done Speak with Animals, I've only got two more left? Or is it different because it's ritual? Oh no, level one spell slot. Level one spell slot. So I can cast three. Right, so these are ritual. These I think I can just cast as often as I like. All right. Okay. But these... Right, so I've got sleep, I've got healing, and i got Tasha's hideous laughter. And let's face it, I'm saving it for healing. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of this. think I'm getting the hang of this. Um, wait. Choose whether the reaction automatically. No, that, that's automatic, right? No, 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 not ask. Just do it automatically. Just do it automatically. Do it automatically. Um, all right, then. Songs of rest. You and your allies are revitalized as though they would have taken a short rest. Wait. What? What's this? Did I miss this? Could I have done this? That takes an action. Could I do this in the middle of combat? Like, like, just heal everyone? But this is, this is... This is this is a one off, right? Is it a one off? Is it is it No. Couldn't do that in combat. But but can I do it? Can I, how often can I do it? Out once per day. It's a once per day. Oh, that long rest thing. I can do the, a bardic inspiration once every 18 minutes, is it? No, until long it lasts until long rest. I don't know what that means. Okay, so basically it's just it's a, it's an extra short rest. So that's so good that's good. All right. Okay. You know what? Oh, that's 18 meters, not 18 minutes until that lasts. And this is a once per day as well. So these class actions are once per day. Let's get on with it. You get blessing of the trickster once per day, turn on dead. Okay. And in, see, I don't like these. Three meters is not. Grant another creature advantage on stealth checks. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Grant another creature advantage on stealth t checks. Should I be giving this to a Starian right at the start? I probably should, shouldn't I? All right, okay. I pick new spells. I pick new spells. Is that blood. Never mind. And then I want to end the day. Oh my god, how slow is he? Because mm, I'm stupid. Thanks, Blake. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, 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 oh. Gail mm. wants to chat. What is he doing? Be with you in a moment. What are you doing? Indulging in a spot of vanity. 
handsome devil, aren't I? Be that as it may. Ceramorphosis. What does it make you think of? A mirror? What, set up, what do you make? Uh, first and foremost, that damn tadpole. Oh, okay. Until quite recently, nothing at all. If you're about to start a lecture, I'm not interested. A gift Yankee's worst fate. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Not the prettiest of transmutations, is it? Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Need to go on? Shake your head. You know this routine all too well. No, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's, let's hear it again. Day four, excruciating pain as the skeleton and organs reform and reposition. Day five, the host personality has disappeared. Fingers and toes and limbs elongate. Mm -hmm. I take it you get the picture? Wait. Okay. Yeah, I do. But I'd like to see if you get the rest right. Day six, the flesh around the mouth splits to make way for tentacles. Day seven, a mind flayer is born. I'm sorry. Are you saying we've only got four days left? Because because by yours we should yeah we should have a fever by now, grey and skin even. Exactly. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Okay. Any expert will agree this is abnormal. Hmm. Long live the abnormal. I like that, but also agree, this is not the version I learned by heart. What is happening, or rather not happening to us, is entirely undocumented. Uncharted territory. The silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. Right. Yeah. That's an excellent thing to go to bed thinking about. Well done on the bedtime story, Gail. I mean, seriously. <laughs> oh. You think we should, we should definitely be doing a save? I don't save enough at all, do I? No, I do not. Okay. Let's have a look. What's going on in the chat? So we need to be nice just not to go far. <laughs> uh, you could be nice to me. That would be nice. Any reason you don't use F5? Firstly, I don't have an F5 key, but I can, I can, I can press function 5. Hey, quick save. Um, I'm guessing quick saves just overwrite each other. Mostly because I just don't think of doing it. I, I, I'm basically... Not generally that kind of player, I guess, would be the best way to describe it. No, that's no uh, shade thrown at people who are. I just, I generally don't constantly save and reload sort of thing. So I some, I tend to rely more on auto saves, which just saves at regular points. Um... And then I save, I, I often save when there is, like if I've just done a ton of stuff, like now, going through a bunch of conversations, organ stuff that I don't want to go through again and again, right? That's when I'll make saves. So that's basically the way I generally work. Um, by the way, Gopher, you can hit T to inspect just about anything if you ever need more information. Okay, I'm hitting T. Oh. That's useful to know. Ha! <laughs> Even on people. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Ah. Look at that. Save all the time. Yeah, no, there's nothing. Look, here's, here's the thing. What I will tend to do when playing games is I will actually save more times in the in-betweens than the actual action. So, for example, if 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 I'm if I go into town and then I d 
do some shopping, I'll almost certainly save afterwards. And then, and then I do some more shopping and save afterwards. And I'll do some, because that's stuff you don't want to do twice. You know, it's going through selling stuff, making potions, yeah, all this. Stuff. This is stuff that you, you you do, and you don't you don't object to doing it in an RPG. But if you have to say if you if you die and have to do it all again, you, it's a right roll pain in the backside. It's one of the reasons I can't stand things like that savior schnapps in Kingdom Come Deliverance, and you know, it's like it was a pain in the backside. Um, the, in, it, when I'm in cities, what I will literally do is go through all of the li little m menial tasks. And do quite a lot of saving. Just in case. If I get a crash now, I don't want to do it. But if I'm if I'm wandering around adventuring, I actually generally save less. So if something goes wrong and I have to reload, I don't actually mind as much. Because it's kind of like if you die in a, in a game that you're enjoying and you have to fight your way back. Fighting is usually okay. It's alright, some fun. You know what I mean? It, you don't object doing it. But it, it, redoing your inventory management again, that's just, that's never been fun, ever. It won't ever be fun. You do it once and then you're done. If it makes sense. First mod you got for Kingdom Come Deliverance was the one to make Saver Schnapps not be a thing. Yep. Second one for me was the one that got rid of Head Bob. I think the third one was the one that got rid of some unnecessary user interface things. Because I played on um, I played on hardcore mode in Kingdom Come Deliverance, which basically removes uh, the compass. Mostly, it removes most of the compass markers. The one thing it doesn't do, remove the compass background. Ah, uh, don't know why. <laughs> Seemed a little redundant. So I had a mod that removed that, and also some of the backgrounds on stamina and things like this. Although a lot of a lot of people uh, were like shout at me go it went during that game going this is why you don't use mods to remove the user interface I'm like the mod I'm using doesn't remove anything remotely useful <laughs> the reason you're not seeing a compass or things like that on my um, or or a you know a block indicator is because I'm playing hardcore mode yeah saber snaps was the potion you brewed to allow you to save in Kingdom Come Deliverance it was. It, when it was quite literally a bottle, a potion bottle, with a floppy disk symbol on it. it. They weren't even subtle about it. It was just such a... Oh, God. Oh, right. I think... Yep, my, um... My extra monitor just died. Ran out of power. I'm gonna think of a new way to do that, actually. Uh, yeah, um, so I've just lost the, uh, the Discord chat for, for my moderators, because the monitor I'm using is actually a USB mod, um, which unfortunately won't charge itself from the computer that I'm running. You've got to charge it from a power source, which is slightly annoying. So I think I will have to do some other setup next time. Uh, I'm thinking I can connect my phone to it and then just run Discord that way. That's probably the best option. That's a thing. What's a thing? We're still talking about Saber Schnapp. Oh, it was definitely a thing. It was weird. It was absolutely weird. All right, have I missed anything from anyone? Nope, nope, nope. Activity's pretty slow now. Right. You're on your own moderators. Uh, basically, I'm on Discord. I, I wa watch the dis uh, the Discord channel for the moderators. Um, so that um, if there's something that goes on, I can basically get reminded by them. But, um, yeah. I had it on a... I've got a USB monitor, but for, like I said, it ran out of power. There is a way to do it, just leave it plugged into the charger and use my phone to send Discord to it, which I, I can do. That's what I'm going to do next time. <laughs> so I was, see, I did have a plan, it just didn't last because of the power on the thing. All right, let's get back to this. Okay.
it, just go to just go to bed. Do it. I don't. I just go to bed. Yes, go to bed. Seems sensible. All right. Oh, of course. Now forty supplies. So yeah, I've got loads of supplies around. Okay, let's have a look. That's got four camp supplies, and we've got. Mm -hmm. For some odd reason, I kind of want to use as many of these as possible. Just. Oh, no. Basically, it selects all three. All right. 16, 18, 24, 32, 34, 36. Ooh. 40! Is he? I like that because it's going to leave everything neater. I know there's an auto-select. I'm going to get bored after a while and just auto-select. But right now, I'm keeping. Oh, there's a camp chest, isn't there? That's why these are. Should I leave all of my supplies in the camp chest somewhere? I probably should. That will probably mean I'm carrying less. Sensible. Too late. Because now we're going full rest. Okay. Oh. Bog. Are we going to get attacked? <sighs> no! We didn't! Oh, no. Where, where's the camp chest? Where is the camp chest? Mogwort, bankwork... Where's the camp chest? I have to keep going. I don't mean... It's not the traveller's chest. There's a, it's the, there's a chest somewhere with, with all the camp supplies in it, right? You can add other chests and containers to the camp and send all the food you get to the camp. It is the traveller's chest. Then why am I seeing things? So it'll use them from the traveller's chest. It will use them from the traveller's chest. Use? But then... Oh, God, I know why, where those things are. I keep forgetting. I've actually got a bewildering... Well, that's not... I've got, I've got a bunch of other stuff, though. Let's have a look. Um, like, I put... If I put those in there, are you saying I will actually have access to those? A few supplies are probably on the companions. So they're, they're actually they're actually going to be available in there. I feel like I should therefore... Put my camp supply bag in there then. I mean... Surely that just makes sense. I should just... Basically transfer my... Camp supply... To there... Leave stuff in it. And my bewildered... What's it kit? Oh, and I, I, unfortunately, every time I want to transfer stuff, I've got to do it like this. Okay. Do I have access to these from my quick menus? Keep the camp supply. Okay, I've got to keep it. Alright, it's just, it weighs quite a lot. Oh, so it's just, right. I, I, are you saying basically the camp supply pack, if I pick anything up for camp supplies, it'll go there automatically. Alright. Can I, and therefore what I should do is just leave it loose in the chest? I hate that idea, I, I will tell you, because that's going to get horribly messy. That's my, uh, Selzy's stuff, although, can I not add to wares here? Oh! No. That's really annoying. That is really annoying. I can't, I can't, wait. Add to wares? Does that add everything in it to wares? Nope. Okay. Remove from worse because I don't want to sell the bag. All right. Okay. Inventory and equipment. Sort by. All right. Ah, frustrating. Frustrating. Um. Then, the only other option is 
I just leave it in there for now, and then I find another container to put to put it all in at some point. Like maybe that one. No. Yeah, it's, it's going to get really annoying taking all these containers in and out. I wish I could just drag them. I mean, I'm guessing I can do something like that and it goes in. But then to open it, I have to put it back in my inventory. All right. Eh. It's not brilliant. Oh, but I tell you what, that does mean if I get... Well, I want to keep this for my... I'm going to find another pouch for the food. And when I do, I'll just store all that stuff in the pouch and never remove it. That'll work. What's this? That is a plate. That should definitely be going into wares. That is an arrow of ice. What is... Th oh! Can I use that when I shoot? I can. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, and... Speak with animals. <laughs> oh, look at that. Can I cast it on everyone? Okay, that didn't... didn't... Nope, just cast on me. Alright, that works. You know what? That works. Right. Let's get out of here. What? Who is Sefri? And why did he die? She. Again. Okay. Right. So. We've made our way into this place and successfully. Alright, where did we. I'm trying to. Where, where have we been? We've not been there. Where did we come in? in? Bunch of blood there. That sounds like it could be. That's a door. Oh! No! Wait. Oh no, this is where we were. Ah, this is where we came. This is where we came. And there is a heavy oak door there that we could not pick. But now... Over there. Aha! Pick the lock. Should be easy. Okay. So he's there's a ten. He got it. He's got. It uses one, but it only uses it if he fails. The tools break on an unsuccessful attempt. So, better. Okay. Plus three, plus two, and plus two. So he's got plus seven already. Bard against. Do I want to really make sure I get this? I kind of feel... Where's the other bonus? Where's the bonus from the cleric? Where's the bonus from the cleric? Because she gave a bonus. Is this because... Wait, wait. Is this because we're not all linked? Well, hello. Ah... All right, that should be enough. I'm going to save my bardic inspiration for some other time then. All right. Holy. Oh, my God. Oh, I only got one for that. Literally needed that. <laughs> okay. That was... You When it, it used these tools? Like, as in it, it used them up? Okay. All right, got four left. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Oh, also you. I applaud your taste. Uh, let's have a look. Um, AC eleven. Right. Get your mage armor off. Still alive. So that's progress. Okay. In tuned have seen everything. In tuned shrine. Never a dull moment. Can I use I can use those keys. What is the key to follow automatically? There is one, isn't there? 
Oh, right. Q&E rotates. That's useful. That is useful. Home. All right. Okay, so if I do this and then do... Oh, nope. Mind you, it's difficult to know for sure. Oh, actually, I think that was it. Right. So... We have got a large area. I see uh, something over there. All right, let's see what he's got on him. Um, scribe. No sign of a struggle. Mm. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded Welcome, protection. Minion. Scroll of burning hands. I should. Can I use that, or should I give that to the mage? I feel like maybe I should have that, just so I've got some fire option. Wait, learning new spells. Okay. So, Gale can learn Let's that. get going. All right, then. I guess that's slightly... Can he learn? No, he doesn't want to learn that. All right, so he hasn't got that, and that could be a good spell. Hmm, okay. All right, but is, it, is that something that's going to be useful? All right, we'll keep it for now, and he can learn it. I guess there's... Is there a limit to how many spells he can learn, though? Or just remember on a day? Because if you can learn any of them, I guess we should just try and learn all of them. Okay, K gets there. Okay. Okay, so if I have him Seek and you shall find suggest me. the wizard. Charmed, I'm sure. Learn more spells. Wizards can learn new spells by transcribing spell scrolls to their spell book in exchange for gold. Scrolls are destroyed once. Ah, how much gold do we have? I'm assuming we can pool our gold. Although, Don't stopped me yet. Okay. Um, will he use them if I if I tell him to? Oh, I have the magic touch. Okay, let's do that. Oh. Detect thoughts. Focus your mind to read the thoughts of certain creatures while talking to them. Oh. This? Okay, so if I have a mage who learns this, will I be able to access it if I'm talking to him with someone else? Or should I... These things have stayed interesting. I can't learn that spell. Which way to the nearest library? I mean, he can't because he's not high enough level at the moment. All right, let's just do burning hands then. Cost 25. All right. New spell. Okay, so, so really then, if we get that... If we get that actual ability, Gale should do the talking? Not having that... No one. No, that is not what I wanted to do. All right. All right. Uh, equip, send to Reginald and Reginald. Still alive. So that's progress. Definitely take over here. Another. Can't slow down. And all right. So, oh, something good here. I oh, hope. it's it's not highlighting things that I can loot. Okay, normally... All right, this is... This is Jerk, the scribe of the dead. This chapel must be ancient. Gerbil. Let's see. There's a plaque over there. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. Oh, okay. That's not useful. 
I see a gilded chest, I also see. Open up. Oh, door. We got a door over there. We will... Ooh! Heavy key. Nice. Yep, we're going to make the place a little less gloomy. And then... Gilded chest! What have we got in here? We got... I'll take the glass chalices. They're, they're, they're worth a little, I guess. Now there's a button. That might be worth a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, tell you what else. What was it? What... Was there, a, was there a key for torch? I can't remember if I ever got an answer on that one. Alright, so there's a button there. I mean, I gotta press the button, because it's there. I mean, really, there's no way... I'm not pressing the button. But I, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna ah, just excellent choice. I'm gonna put, venture forth. Put you there, and uh, you you just 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 a little Subtle bit steps. out of the way. What to do? You can stay close to me because I might need your assistance. Press in the button. That was a bad idea, wasn't it? Yep, that was a bad idea. Terrible idea. Right, um... Yeah, so you... The what? The darkness? Okay. Uh, right. So, sneak attack range. Nothing's got an advantage over. So, I'm afraid it's just gonna have to be a... Hamstring? Is it even going to be affected by? I don't think so. All right. When it, what have we got here? We got one up there. Oh, that's an eighty-five. Oh, I will tell you what. Delicious. <laughs> it's a dead thing. Okay. I'll put you there. And what else did he have? When it Oh, he can he hide and see no trace. Stay hidden for Where next turn. From here. Right, okay, so aha. Uh -huh. Let's have a look. Bardic, no. Mm, friends. I can only do these three times, so really, I sort of don't think any of these are useful. Um, which means I want to target is too far. I feel like getting the high ground might be the good idea, but I don't think I'm getting the high ground. I have to keep going. Can I shoot you from there? Not enough movement. All right. Not enough movement. I could dash, but that doesn't doesn't dash. Where was dash? That takes an action. Not really seeing any point to that. To be honest, I'm just going to end my turn there. And... All right, you have turn undead. Okay. All undead that can see you. Unfortunately, I think it's got a range of nine meters. Um, the condition, right, you know what, then, uh, I'm thinking, okay, common, that's an action, what's she got that's, does she have anything damage-wise, shield of faith, why hasn't she cast that already, okay, she can't cast that on others, can she, I mean, that's, that, that's definitely a, no, 18 meters, Okay. So she could just cast that on everyone. Probably I'm misunderstanding that. Right, let's have a look. Guiding Bolt. I 
He's got... Oh, he's got 28. He's only got... You know what? Right now, that's the prime worry. Oh, bum. Battle of wits. Hmm, all right. Okay, so what have you got? Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Will that slip him? It might not. I feel like I want to do some damage to him. Okay. Why isn't that going? Go. Oh! I guess, of course, there's three of them. There's three. I have to choose which of them I've got. Oh, yes, I forgot all about that. All right. That did not do very much damage. Oh, silenced. Oh, schmoly. I probably should have focused on the weaker ones just to get, get them down. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. Alright, that's not... Okay. Okay, so we're now... Stadion. Oh, see, so he's out of stealth now. And there's no way he's getting into stealth, so... Alright, you know what? Let's just focus on... Right, that's one down. One down. Let's have a look. Is there a... Oh. Just like old times. Okay. Stealth. Survival is all that matters. Survival is all that matters. Yeah. What have we got? Bardic Inspiration. Potion of Speed. Mm. Actually, out of curiosity, why items? Alchemist Fire. Okay, I can do that when they get closer. Right. What I really think I need to do... Oh. Is that too far? Nope. It says 80%. We really want to knock these guys down. Another day, another fight. Oh, it's because I can move there. And try to get as many of them weakened as possible. All right. You, on the other hand, should be doing... Okay. Click to confirm. Oh, it's only 35%. Okay, so he saved. So that totally sucked. Okay, so she can keep doing the Shield of Faith, though. Lasts until the long rest, right? Slightly obscured. All right, let's just... Let's get some... Let's get some... Let's get some cantrips going. Gone with the weave. All right. He's got 21, but I really... I do feel right at the moment. Actually. Now, how many... Can, can he just cast spells as much as possible? Because, like, I could send one... One there. One there, and... I just want to make sure I kill them. Alright, okay. I put one... At you, and then another one at you. Alright, so that's one down. That's one down. Alright. Level one. Okay, so he's got three. Is that one? will stand in my way. Wait, no, it's his turn. I don't fancy that. Does that mean recharge? He's got three. He can cast three more spells, any of these. I think that's what that means. And this will replenish spell shot slots. All right, okay. But right, we're down. We've got two of them down. Oh, ow. Ow. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Okay. Aha. So... Sneak attack. Okay, that one's got 10 of 10. 10 of 10. 
What was it? Damage on this thing? Five to... Mm. Path is interrupted. Damn it. Make it hurt. What happened? Must have advantage. What? What? Okay. So, 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 so... Right, that's basically sucks. That's path interrupted. Okay, so because he moved, he came out of stealth. He'll figure it out. Well, yeah, I figured out as he moved. I, I could get a stealth attack on him, but he moves into a position. So it shows me where he moves, and if, if I see him move into the red zone, I shouldn't take the shot. Okay. Hamstrong. All right. Let's have a look. Are we... Okay, I'm going to put him back there and go sneaking again. All right. All right. So, I... I've got to, I've got to be careful on these, these heels. I probably should only use them when absolutely needed at the moment, just because of how few slots I bloody well get. Um... Which means I probably just want to shoot. What? Well, you've got it. Yeah, you know what? I've got the high ground as well, so. Nice. Right, so we're down to two of them. We're down to two of them. Let's finish this. Now, she can't do that again because she's already done that. So now it's just... Oh. Oh. Level one spell slot? She can't do that at the moment? Is that what that is? Oh no. No. Hmm. All right. So that's a cantrip. So she's got no spells left? Why, did this use a spell? How many spells has she used, then? She's... Oh, no, she's silenced, isn't she? Isn't she silenced? No, she's not. Okay, did I use... I've used all the spells. What the... Oh! Shield of Faith uses spell slots. It's it, Even though it's a bonus action, it's not like a cantrip. I've used up the Shield of Faith instead of... Right, not totally sure that's worth it, then. If If... If I can only cast that, like, once or twice, I think I just... That's just not worth it. All right. Bomb. All right. Okay. Ah, damn it. Seems to... I feel like... I feel like I'm going to end up with a bunch of spells learned, but never use any of them, because, honestly, they're not... It's like, I want to save up for the huge damage ones. Now that's a cantrip. He's used all of his spells. Has he? They're all grey now? Is that what it means? I think that's what it means. Topple. All right. So we can only use cantrips now, which is okay, because... When it where's the other one? I mean, it's okay, because cantrips, at least he can do a little bit. All right. Okay. Concentration saving throw. Hmm. Okay. Three of ten. He's not... He's in view. All right. Well... Oh, that's not... No, no, no. That'll do. Oh, so... Stupendously, ridiculously close. But no cigar. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Not enough resources, but what about that? Do the unexpected. <laughs> yes! I won't give in. Yeah, don't give in. Don't give in. What have we got here? He has got a lot of health. P 
piercing shot. I don't think that's going to do much, but you know. I suck at shooting. I sort of feel like I want to play some bardic music, just to, just to, you know. I mean, did, do any of my songs do anything? Probably not. Okay. Concentrate. Right, gotta concentrate. Can't really do much. So, what can I do? I can just keep hitting with Sacred Flame, or I could hit with... Honestly, I'd say Sacred Flame is slightly better. Two to seven. It, I mean, higher minimum there, but... Dexterity save. Ah, is it more likely to save or miss? Let's have a look. Oh, she's not got that good a chance of hitting. A lot better chance of hitting with that. Okay, though. But not. <laughs> oh, keep doing that. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Allow me to keep doing that. All right, topple. No. You know what? Why don't just keep... Oh! Bubby! Oh, schmoly. Okay. Unarmed. Can't reach destination. Not enough movement. Oh, where is it? Oh, he's... Uh. A better position. Because that guy cannot see now. Can he loot, or does that take an action spot? No, no, that's fine. Oh! Want to surrender their valuables even after death. <laughs> Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty old baubles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Terrible, absolutely terrible. What was this? Scimitar. All oh, right. What do we got? Did they leave anything in there? Oh, they might. Have. What's that? Oh no. Is it this one? Which one's a... No, 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 no. Gilded chest, empty, black. Did we not? Were they all... Oh, I'd already looted them, hadn't I? I'd already looted the damn things. That's why. Course. All right. Just a step. Okay, so. First things. We're a long way from Waterdeep. Okay. Arcane... Recovery. When it select variant. Replenish spell slots while out of combat. Can't I just pick that one? Oh no, it's just level one. Recover a level one spell slot. Right, I'm clicking. Oh, do click on me, you mean? Okay, so he's got a spell slot left. Can he do that? Can he keep doing that? No. Right, so the big question now is right. what now? Do I save my healing words, the three of them, and just go with um a quick Song of Rest? I think Song of Rest. Let's try that. Respite. Hey! Look at that! No time to rest. Feeling good. Feeling good. Okay. <laughs> what path lies before me? I don't know. But they to hide one sarcophagus. Okay. What? I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Heavy chest we've got. Amulet of lost voices. Speak with dead. <gasps> Scroll of Ray of Enfeeblement. We can a foe. They deal half damage with weapon attacks using strength. Okay. Is that a is that a spell? Wits and blades. That she oh, could learn? Can she learn spells? Clerics. No, it's gotta be it's gotta be him. No rest for the He's the only one that can learn spells. Alright, and it doesn't matter where the spells are, he can learn them from wherever they are in the that's good. I don't have to keep Ooh. Ah, well. 
Can't use that spell level yet, anyway. Still oh. breathing, despite everything. Can't give up now. Ah, uh, oh, but... Amulet of Lost Voices. Do I now have... Do I now have an ability? Speak with dead. Ritual. Nine meters. Okay. Quit. Do I just... Do I have to cast that on the, de the dead themselves? Okay. All right. What's in the vase? Nothing. Is it just... It won't show me a container if the container's empty. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. Okay, I've got to know. Where was where was the dude? All right. Swift as my feet can carry me. I gotta know. Can't target undead. Oh, it's gotta be dead. Well what whoa whoa what what about? Wasn't there the tombs? No target. Okay. All right. So, so basically, I can only do this on things that have not risen from the dead, not undead. Okay. Do we poke him before he leaves this place? Just, just, just chill out. Um. So, I'm just gonna check the vases just in case they have something. No. All right. Can I? I can't cast it on myself, can I? No. It's not like that. All right. It has a very specific description. Okay, yeah. You, this is a good point. Let's read the entire thing. Grant a semblance of life to a humanoid corpse, allowing it to answer up to five questions. Skeletons and creatures killed with acid, fire, lightning, necrotic, or radiant damage no longer have a mouth, can't be made to talk using this spell. Oh! So if we kill them with basically radiant or fire, they're buggered. Because those are the two I'm using. But, like, the guy that I... The, the last guy we killed was killed with an arrow. He was killed with an arrow. Hmm. So I'm guessing it's still something to do with the fact that I mean, we did do radiant damage on him, but he was killed by an arrow. He's undead. It doesn't work on... Oh! Read the last line. I stopped at, um... Above those. Doesn't work on undead. All right. There you go. Excellent. Richly adorned sarcophagus. I gotta open it, guys. I know something crap's gonna happen, but I gotta... I gotta... Okay. Not dead. Undead. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh, God. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right. As always. What a curious way to awaken. Okay, I was not expecting. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Oh, wait. Quite the question. What's the reason for it? So he has spoken. What are you talking about? A little spooked by you crawling over to What are you? A peaceful undead. Interesting. Why aren't you attacking me? Can we just go with that question, first of all? Because that would be senseless. Wilt thou answer my question? Sure! I mean, honestly, yeah! Definitely. I, I mean, I don't want to be judgmental. I mean, people judge me, me from who I am all the time. So, you know, well, not who I am. The fact that I am Githyanki. So, yeah, you're sure. Ask, ask. So, I ask again. 
What is the worth of a single mortal life? Okay, that depends on the person's deeds. Life is only value as a currency. It doesn't matter to me otherwise. Each life is of infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for. A life is only valuable in the surface to the Akif. But a life is worth only as much as the legends remember it. Mm, I like that one. But, you know, I mean, surely, I mean, a life is basically worth whatever it's worth to the person who has it. Depends on the person's deeds. I mean, that also, I mean, no, because then that's their deeds that have value, not the life. Each life is of infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for. But is it? Would I sacrifice everything for one person that was a little toe rag? No. Mm. Depends on the person's deeds. I mean, honestly, I think realistically that's... That's... That's my actual view on it. I mean... Hmm. Depends on the mortal. No, it doesn't. Depends on the... Oh. Deeds or other things? Yeah, no, because that does sort of then say that the life of a king is worth more than the life of a peasant. Which is not really true, is it? Because the life of a peasant just is worth to him and the people who love him. So no, no one life is worth more than any other. We're all equal. In death, that is so. Very well. I am satisfied. Okay. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Hmm. It's an odd question, really, isn't it? I mean, when it's... Go ahead. Oh, no, sorry. No, 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 no. And, uh, we, no, sorry. Just, just... I mean, it is an interesting quest. Where did he bloody well go? Was he just wandering off? Answer? What? These chambers are much changed. Hmm. I mean, honestly, the people that attacked us, are their lives as worthy as ours? It's it's a tough question, isn't it, really? It gets it gets very philosophical. And you, you head into dangerous territory. But and this is the How basic long has it been? truth. In a way, it doesn't matter what the life is worth very often. We all do whatever we need to do to protect the lives of those we care about. Okay, where the hell is that going? Oh, dude, before we go anywhere, I've still got lots more crypt stuff. To oh, hello. Gilded chest. Okay, we've got a silver necklace. Can we loot his two? Do you think he'd mind? I mean, we didn't actually check inside there, did we? He's complained about the mess. I kind of like this guy. <laughs> Richly adorned sarcophagus. I can, I can loot it. I can, I can, I can actually loot it. Let's have a look. What's, whoa. Scroll, ray of... Hi. We have nothing more to discuss. Continue on my way. As if I were not here. I must attend this place after so many years away. We will see each other again. Ah. Uh -huh. Soon. Okay, that soon is rather vague, Bard. Seems. Seems you have read ahead in our little story. Yes. The mechanics of fate would be difficult to explain to one such as thyself. Regardless, it will occur. Okay, that didn't sound 
like a threat or, or an insult, oddly enough. Just like a statement of fact. Okay, you know what, though? Right. Wasn't there another sarcophagus, but it was trapped? It what? It, just, just see? See? Memory like a steel trap. All right. Astadian! Come here. Oh, we all failed. Hi. Better be careful not to trigger that thing. Yeah, 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 totally. Um. Right. Okay. Blade close. Let's just before we do it. Right. I want you to disarm this trap. And it's okay. Total bonus plus seven. Add a bonus. Guidance. Bardic inspiration, not, I'm hoping, isn't needed. Yep, yeah, that's good enough. That is good enough. Success! Awesome. Question, though. Uh, there was, there was another... Go. There was another trap right there. Could just disarm it? Seeing as, seeing as if you succeed, we don't lose anything. Oh, we still got the pluses. I'm thinking we just disarm as many as possible, because I got the sneaking suspicion that if we open this, something else could happen, and we might end up wanting to run around like headless chickens. Okay. I think there was there's a button. There's a button. Did we press the button? Okay, you know what? Everyone? Yeah. Oh, still going, still going. Here we go. Do we get experience for doing this? No. At least not that I can see. Was there another one? Surely I could have sworn there was another. Tell you what, let's not wander around there. All right. Oh, God, stop wandering. You're wandering around. Oh. No one stopped me yet. All right, let's see what's in the sarcophagus. Ooh! The Watcher's Guide. Death promise. When the spear misses its target, the wielder's next attack roll against the target gains true strike. Wait. What is true strike? Proficiency in this weapon type unlocks. All right, it can be thrown or hit as a spear. And apparently it's versatile. I'm sorry. It's a torch? Got another key. Okay. No, this is... Am I profi... Am I proficient? Wielding with both hands. Am I proficient with this? I, I might be. Hover over true strike. Oh, it's giving me true strike somewhere, as it was. What does true strike look like? Um, items? It's not an item thing. Common. Okay, you know what? Oh, that did not like that. Oh, T keeps it. Ah! Keeps it. Aha! Got it. Rush attack. Three to six damage. Charge forward and attack the first enemy in your way, quite possibly pushing them off balance. Okay. That's rush attack. Uh, no, uh, versatile. Versatile. Can be used in one hand or both. Deals more damage when wielded in both hands. Okay. Um, and death promise. Attack roll gains true strike. The spellcaster has advantage on attack rolls against this creature. Oh, so if I miss the next attack, I get an advantage on. Is it two-handed if I if I don't put anything in this hand? Main hand attack. Okay. Hmm. 
I'm unsure who to give this to then, because honestly, I miss a lot. So I feel like I'm probably the one best using that, because I suck at hitting things with a rapier. But I just like the way the rapier looks. But then the Starion also looks good with the rapier. Just, you know. Wait. Oh. Oh, God, no, God. What am I to do? Oh! Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm like, oh! Oh, tell me how good that looks. Two to seven. If she takes this off, does she two, uh, two to nine? Which is better, though? Does she want... I don't know. I, I just... I feel the spear and... Can she... Pro is she proficient? Oh! I mean, I believe with the shield as well. I mean, just... Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I love that. Let's move. That another step forward. Here we go. Is how we roll. Okay. Oh no, don't roll. All right, now there was uh, where was that door? There. There was a door back into the No, that's not where the door is. Where was the where was the bloody door? No, we got... Ah, no, we got through this door, didn't we? We got through this door. It was that door we didn't get through. So, we've still got some stuff to inspect around there. Whee. Ooh, it's getting late, guys. Just wait to 12. Am I liking the game so far? Loving it! It's a solid game. It's but again, you know, I've only just scratched the surface. So I think people are expecting me to rave about it. Um, whereas at the moment, it's just it's just a really good game, really enjoyable. I should play more games like this, either on streams or or even for myself, to be honest. I'm I'm gonna look, I've had this conversation with people quite a few times in my streams on Twitch, but a lot of you are probably new here, uh, not watch me on Twitch. I have this horrible thing where I don't play games as much for myself now as I should because I feel guilty. So I've got all these games that I would love to try and play. I've got System Shock, which I know I'm never going to do a Let's Play of because I don't have time to do any new Let's Play for at least a year, I reckon, and maybe longer. I think before I did something like System Shock, I need to finish Cyberpunk. I need to do Fallout London. I need to do Stalker 2. I need to... I really would like to bring back Taylor 2 Wastelands as well. I think I've got a couple more chapters I can do there. Um, although there's a weird glitch. When I, save, when I, lo when I saved and loaded the game, um, Sarah Lyons, who's lying on the bed... She's all weirdly twisted up because I think the, there's something wrong with the armor thing. So I've got to, I've got to, whenever I go back to that, I've got to somehow have an entire conversation and not look at Sarah Lyons because it's weird. Um, so, um, but also, I'll be honest with you, little thought to maybe doing an encore chapter on Skyrim. I'm missing Skyrim quite badly, actually. Missing Skyrim quite badly. Isn't it weird? Skyrim's still got its hooks in me. More than Fallout 4. I've got no urge to play Fallout 4 again. None. I just don't. You know, I had an urge to play Fallout 3 again, which is why I did TTW. And again, I've, I've still got two more DLCs. Three more DLCs. I've got three more DLCs to do in Taylor 2 Wastelands. So... Probably got three more chapters. God knows when I'm going to get to them, because I think Fallout London's coming. But Skyrim just keeps grabbing me. So anyway, so System Shock not going to happen. All of those, I'd rather do... I, I You know, that's... that's Once Cyberpunk's finished, at least five other Let's Plays, I reckon. 
to come out. And Cyberpunk's going to be a huge Let's Play. I'm hoping I will have finished recording it before Fallout London comes out, but God knows whether I'll even be releasing Fallout London when I start recording it. I might have to go to, like, three games at once, go to two episodes each week. Or I don't know what I'm going to do. Because, um, obviously, I sort of really wanted to finish Starfield, get it get it done, so I could weigh in on conversations about NG+, etc. Um... But I'm enjoying Cyberpunk, and I'm, even though I am quite far ahead, I'm probably playing twice as many episodes as I'm releasing, which means I've got a buffer once I finished it, once Fallout London comes out, I'll be able to record. But I'm going to want to share Fallout London with people. Um, so any games I play are probably going to be on streams, right? They're probably going to be on streams. I didn't finish the save. They're probably going to be on streams. And I think Baldur's Gate's going to take stream time for a while. But there's, like, so System Shock's not even going to get a look on the streams. There's a bunch of other things. I think games like this might be really good for streams. Games where you spend a lot of time talking about game mechanics and looking down. Isometric games. Cyberpunk really gets its hooks into you. Oh, God, it does. Not worth getting burnt out over. No, the biggest problem isn't burnout in this particular instance. These are all games I want to play. The problem is having so many things that I want to play, and there's no way I, I... I can't let's play them. There's a difference between let's playing and playing. Right? So, I, I'm, I'm not going to get to let's play anything other than the games I mentioned. Yeah, so that's best case scenario this year, I reckon. Um, finish Cyberpunk. Do Fallout London, Stalker 2 if it comes out, and maybe revisit either Skyrim or Taylor 2 Wastelands. Probably not both in the same year. But you never know. But that's it. Five games. There's nothing else that's going to get a look in unless something comes out. Something comes out that's like out there. But I want to play games for myself. So, like, System Shock, I really want to play it. But I feel guilty playing it. I do. This is why, you know, streaming can sometimes be fun. I, I played Horizon Zero Dawn um, and, and shared that with everyone. And I'm glad I did, although originally that was going to be a me game. But I can't do that for every game I play. And I really, really, really want to play System Shock. I bought it ages ago. And I'm not going to do a Let's Play. So I've finally given myself permission. I finished all my Starfield NG Plus stuff. I finished all of it now, or at least as far as I'm going before DLC comes out. I've done something close to 15 or 16 NG Pluses, maybe more. Um, so I've gone through. I'm still, I still haven't played two factions, so I don't know every aspect of the game. But I'm saving that just in case. I don't think I'm going to do a second Let's Play of Starfield. The game, the game is too long, and it's not popular on the channel. But I might stream it. Who knows? But I might just play it for myself. But that's I've got two factions left, and I haven't decided whether I'm going to do a totally new playthrough from scratch, or I'm going to do an NG plus 20 run and do the other factions. Um, Because, <laughs> you know, NG plus is total overkill. Utter OP. But I want to see what the DLC does. But again, I'm just just the way Starfield was re re received, um, I don't know if it was just the way I was playing and it wasn't popular. People just didn't like the character or didn't like the way I was playing. Or it's people are just literally not watching it because they hate the game. Um, I don't really know. But like, you know, it just I don't think it's going to be a, another Let's Play. What Wolfclaw said. If it helps you not feel guilty, I think people would be equally happy just hearing your impressions. Yeah, so maybe what I what I just do is like play System Shock and do a quick Hey, this this game was good, bad, whatever. Not you, it's a meh game. Right, but I mean people have watched me play Skyrim and Fallout 3 and Fallout N New Vegas. Um, and those are really, really popular. Even though they're very similar bloody games. Um, 
And then I'll play games that are not meh. I mean, everyone at the moment is raving about Cyberpunk being, like, one of the best games now. And it's still not a popular Let's Play. Still not a... Still not a... Let's Play. Because they're better. Well... I mean... I prefer Skyrim. That's true. I do prefer Skyrim by a long, long way. And I understand why people don't want to play Starfield. You get, like, loading screen um, fatigue. But I remove the loading screens from my Let's Play. So it can't be that. Because you play a role better in Skyrim. Well, I could play a role in Fallout 3, Fallout... Even Fallout 4 and Fallout New Vegas, although, again, Fallout 4 just doesn't interest me because there's just nothing, there's no new content and there's no new way of approaching it. Cyberpunk still doesn't add up to the original promises. I don't know what the promises were, um, but I'm guessing they just promised something that was absolutely just impossible because, to me, Cyberpunk was always a superb game. And now it's just incredible. It's absolutely amazing. So when people say it doesn't live up to the promises, I just... All I can assume is they basically promised that... I don't know what they promised. I mean, I've, I've still not gone back and watched all the original developer um, videos, because obviously I was avoiding them, so... Um, but, I mean, because to me, Cyberpunk is just... I still preferred Witcher, I think, but... Honestly, it's close now. Especially since they, a lot of my complaints, a lot of my complaints with the, um, I'll tell you what, we're definitely finishing, but I'll, I'll, I'll run the credits. I will run the credits. Give me a second. Is it action or story? What, for, for Cyberpunk? It's both. Phantom Liberty takes it to a new level. Yeah, I mean, that's the, th the thing. I, I really, I'm looking forward to, um, to Phantom Liberty, but... I've also read that this is something you probably want to do last. You want to do, you know, get to the point of no return and then do Phantom Liberty. Um, but, but I got to say, my complaints with Cyberpunk now are pretty much limited to the main quest. It's very, still, even knowing the main quest and knowing how it unlocks things and thinking of ways in which I can stretch the main quest out to allow me to do all the side quests, it's still, the main quest was just way too, they, they made a huge mistake, a huge mistake uh, with the Vic conversation saying you've got weeks to live. They, sh they should have said months. Several. It sh they should have given you a feeling that you were trying to save your life, but it it, it didn't have to. Because you know, even in my playthrough, I, I'm I'm probably you know I don't know, fifty episodes in, um, and I've I've managed to delay the uh, the main quest quite a lot. So I think I've probably spent close to two. I don't know how long actually, because I've I've I halfway through the let's play, I installed a mod that slowed the, the the passage of time down by half so I could get slightly more done per day before, you know, the main quest would come up and prod you again. I don't know how many times I've slept, but I, I'd probably say I'm probably about one, one and a half, no, maybe one and a half to two weeks into the story. Um, But that's me really... That's using a mod for a start. I'd probably be more like three weeks in, maybe four weeks if I hadn't used that mod. Um, and I'm not even, I mean, in the main quest, I, I've, I've delayed them as much as humanly possible without being silly. And that's, that is, that is unfortunately my only real criticism. Whereas in The Witcher, the time frame was far more flexible was far more flexible, if that makes sense. Um, like the seven days until you become a mind flayer. Right, but at least in Baldur's Gate, the fact that you take more than seven days is commented on. Baldur's Gate 
has, uh, I mean, he just did. We just had that conversation with Gail saying, don't you think it's odd that we've not started turning yet? So, you know, you think Cyberpunk's a better RPG than Witcher, though? Uh, I mean, it depends on what you define. Um, it's got more what you would consider RPG character build differences, more of a character that you make for yourself. I absolutely love the conversations in Cyberpunk. I love the, the conversation system. I absolutely love the first-person, real-time conversation system. I think it was ge almost genius. I think it's brilliant. Um, there was way more variety in play styles, I think. Although you could get different play styles in The Witcher. You know, you could go an alchemy build. You could go pure swords. Or you could use magic. Mixture of both, I suppose. Or all three. But I feel Cyberpunk had more variety. And that was before 2.0. With 2.0... I mean, even a Netrunner build now. Netrunner build doesn't just involve hacks. It involves monowire and it involves smart weapons. They've completely redone so many things that it's just... I'm thinking to myself, oh, I really want to do a blade run. Um, you know, I, I, I've already done a, you know, a brawler build, but maybe I want to do... Um, someone who uses... Instead of using the gorilla arms, uses clubs. Or I don't know. I mean, there's just so many different uh, thoughts going through my head when I look at the system now. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I just, I think Cyberpunk was absolutely superb. It's one of the most uh, breathtakingly beautiful games. It's got an incredible story. The atmosphere is second to none. The music is phenomenal. Um, thoroughly enjoy it. And, but it's still got its detractors. It's still got people who go, yeah, I think it's meh. But, and this is the important thing, it's not that popular of a Let's Play. Fallout 4 was probably my most popular Let's Play ever. Which is staggering to me. <laughs> you wanted more sandboxing. Well, the thing is, is, is with Cyberpunk, what prevents the sandboxing, in my opinion, is the bloody main quest prodding you all the time but even still i just i think cyberpunk is just it's an it's such an epic experience a lot of people are stuck in the but bad release mode yeah well and i get that i totally get it if you were playing this on the original xbox what like xbox one or playstation 4 was it yeah you'd probably a sour taste in your mouth um, but there were a lot of people playing on PC who just, who didn't like it. And I think a lot of that came down to the way the, 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 the whole lot of content was rolled out. I've done a video on it. I did a video on all my negatives on Cyberpunk. And that was one of the things they fixed through different patches. Um, so they, they fixed a lot of the problems with the way the content was unrolled throughout the patches, so by about 1.5. Once they added the dynamic map, for example, that was brilliant. Once they unrolled the gigs and they changed the icons on the map, such small, simple little changes. Radically changes first impressions for people. Um, but, you know, such a simple set of changes really does affect the way people receive the game in their, when they first start playing it. And I think a lot of people probably started playing Cyberpunk, exited the, after the tutorial mission, exited the building, and then saw the map and just saw three million things popped up and got overwhelmed. And every single time they went somewhere where one of those things popped up, they, they just found someone to shoot and kill and loot. Because I saw loads of people saying, the game's just dead shallow. It's got no, there's, there's, there's no, it's just, it's just an action shooter looter. You just run around shooting things and looting. And I was thinking, we're not playing the same game. But I also have to admit, when I first exited the mega building, I really had that whole, oh my God, everything. I want to try everything. And, and I almost had to make myself follow the narrative. And I think if you don't do that, if you just follow what the map's pinging at you, like, here's a thing, here's a thing, here's a thing, oh, here's a thing, and you just go and do them, 
because you didn't know which thing was important and which thing wasn't, you just came away thinking Cyberpunk was just a bunch of shooting and nothing else. Loads of people said that. Um, and just hiding the NCPD assaults until you get close to them and removing loads of the gigs so that the gigs got rolled out at a small pace. And more importantly, just changing all the icons. So now, you, you, you know, the gigs have a completely different icon to the side quests. You can sort of see the stuff that's going to be really... You can see story content very clearly, and you can see filler content very, cl very clearly, and you can see just, just go murder things very clearly. You know what you're getting into, and it all unfolds far more organically, and your expectations are tempered. Because, of course, the, the big problem, you walk out of the doors in Cyberpunk and you're, you're given 22 gigs, you're given, I think it's something like 30 assaults, and you're only given two side quests and one main quest. So that's three dots on the map that are storied stuff. 22 that are gigs that have got small story but nothing impressive. But, you know, good little side story chance to get a bit of lore or a bit of atmosphere. Oh, a bunch of cyber psychos. Those all appeared as the same dots as well. So that was something like four cyber psychos in Watson. So you had, you had, like, you had like 40 little exclamation marks. No idea which was the good stuff and which was the filler content. Not surprised people wander around thinking it's nothing but filler content. Dynamic map. Brilliant idea. But then 2.0 took away another one of the complaints I would have had about the game, and that's the grindy nature of the character build system. Didn't they? They've also got rid of leveled loot. Didn't the original game have leveled loot? It had guns that had a level, and you, you had to get to a certain level to use them, and, and a level 10 pistol was better than a level 5 pistol, even though it looked the bloody same. I think it, it had so much of that. You feel like you may be a, too much of a completionist for Cyberpunk. No, you can be a total completionist now in Cyberpunk but, and play it completely now. Here's the thing. I did a playthrough uh, before 2.0, for myself, obviously, where I just played the game naturally following the dynamic map, but doing every single solitary side quest, every single solitary gig, every single solitary cyber psycho, um, etc. And doing that that way, as a completionist, it still felt so much more natural because of the way everything unrolled. I didn't get this sense of overwhelming stuff. I, I knew what I was going for when I went for it. I knew what a gig was, right? And they, they unrolled slowly. And by the end, by the time I got to the point of no return, I went to the full map and had a look at what I'd missed assault-wise. And I'd gotten about 70 to eight, 75 to 80 percent of the assaults just playing naturally. So that's 20% of the assaults, and even if you're a completionist, those things are just run in and shoot everyone's. And of course, you could turn those on by leaving the dynamic map. Um, and it was kind of nice back then because of the grindy nature of the character build system. It was kind of nice to have um, a bunch of stuff left to grind out some skills if you wanted. So honestly, it was just... Bit confused while we're discussing this. Oh, people just asking what I was doing and we're talking about the fun playing. Stream's over, by the way, guys, if, if you haven't got that. If you've not figured that one out. <laughs> um, these are the things I've talked about a thousand times on Twitch, so a lot of the Twitch people have heard of this. Um, so, yeah. So I loved Cyberpunk. I'm loving playing it. Definitely loving the changes they did to Netrunner. Still not a popular series, though. Look of character was pointless, given you rarely see yourself. I see. I don't see it that way, Carla. I, 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 I play first person all the time, and you know, you, you just look at the characters I made. What, how they looked was important. I mean. And one of the things 
one of the things I love about the changes now is um, armor comes from cyberware. So you really, you don't have that whole crafting, you know, you'd get a pair of, you'd get a t-shirt, a legendary t-shirt and put four armor mods in it so that it gave you more armor or something if you if you were going down the crafting tree. Um, they've got rid of all that. The, the crafting system's so much nicer now because it's basically very simple. It's very, very simple. It's It doesn't get in the way. Um, and it's just... It, it got rid of some of the grindy, dumbass aspects of the game, especially seeing as when it came down to it. The other thing is, is people didn't realize it, but armor was a complete waste of time. At least it was a very hard difficulty. Not a complete waste of time, but it was... I got a lot of people... I do a lot of people. I got one person giving me grief in my original Let's Play because he thought I was lying about the difficulty um, because my character didn't have very high armor and yet was tougher than his character. Because I had a character with an armor of like 500 and he had an armor of 6,000. Um, and, yeah, and he was like, I can't believe you're on very hard because I'm dying all the time. It's because armor doesn't do bollocks, mate. <laughs> My character's tough because he's got like 20 body skill and cyberware that gives him so much bloody health and regeneration. Um, it's incredible. Armor just did very little. 6,000 armor, I think that's... It reduces damage by... In the original system, I think it was by... 150, which is great against, you know, some small arms and some small pistols, completely useless against melee and high-precision rifles, totally. So, you know. But if you want to go cyber-free, you have no armor. Right, but that's not realistic. It's pretty realistic. It's pretty realistic, Kala. In fact, it's very realistic. You'd, that was the thing. What was unrealistic in Cyberpunk was all your armor coming from clothes. If you ever watch any of the Cyberpunk stuff, what you'll notice is unless you're wearing full tack armor, and I, I believe you can get armor that is proper in the game, like tack armor, right? Unless you go ballistic vest, armored um, helmet, etc., you know, the, the armor system in Cyberpunk was ridiculous. You know, you could wear a miniskirt, a miniskirt, a bra, high heels, and have an armor of, like, 6,000. Oh, and a headband. Well, you know, a headband. And have an armor of 6,000. It's completely ridiculous. It was utterly, completely beyond ridiculous. <laughs> so, you know... Whereas if you wear, if you want to, I mean, you can still get armor in game through helmets and vests. But if you ever look at cyberpunk stuff, really, what you see is like, you know, think of like the um, Edge Runner BD you see, that cyber psycho being shot. Think of the original promotional trailer, that that woman being shot. She's being bullets were bouncing off her face. It's the cyberware. That's where your armor came from. That's where your armor comes from. Armor actually seems to do more in since 2.0. I don't think it's um, a damage threshold system anymore. I think they've changed to a damage reduction system, which I don't know how I feel about that. But it does mean raising your armor is actually useful now. Quite useful. The woman in the very first trailer was also armored. Wasn't she wearing like a flimsy... The woman in the first trailer, she was wearing like a flimsy, almost like nightdress, wasn't she? She was just sort of kneeling on the floor. She was kneeling on the floor with her uh, mantis arms out, glancing. She was wearing a dress. Okay, so but it was like a white thing, wasn't it? It was like a white thing. And... I can't remember. Anyway, she was not wearing... She was not wearing... The, the max tack were all in full max tack armoured gear, right? And they were... Sp Spraying, they were spraying her with bullets, and it was just shattering on her skin. All of their arm, all of her armor was definitely cyberware, one hundred percent. Mitigation, chance, and strength is what really reduces damage. Now, that's what always did, believe it or not. Um, mitigation hasn't changed that much. Mitigation always gave you a chance to ignore half the uh, damage, and that was actually. Probably a way 
a better protection than armor. Like I said, because with armor, even if you got like 6,000, it would reduce the damage by 150. There were sniper rifles that were doing like one and a half, 2k damage. Your armor's doing diddly about that. Best way to get tough before 2.0, body stat. Body stat and body stat based um, cyberware. So, she's in the game. Yes, she is. She's a max attack lieutenant. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, I mean, basically max attack are a bunch of uh, cyber psychos. But yeah, um, armor is now quite useful in 2.0. But I, I kind of almost see armor in the new system to be more akin to the body stat. It's like you get it from, from having cybernetic arms and legs, your skeleton, not just your skin. So it's not just stopping the damage at skin level. It's just making you tougher. So it's almost like the body stat used to. So, yeah. Why are we still talking about cyberpunk? <laughs> Stream is over. Stream is over. Um, but, like, you know, I can't even remember what the original point was. Something about me let's playing uh, games uh, and also playing some games for myself. Chat, have you given a thumbs up yet? I'm going to check how many thumbs up. We've only got 529 likes, but we've now got more likes than concurrent viewers. So there you go. It's subdermal mesh armor. Well, some of the skin armor is, yeah, but you get armor now from things like your skeleton, your joints, um, cybernetic legs, for example. Just they're basically armored, depending on which ones you get. Um, so, you know. But it's still very easy to become completely overpowered. I saw a lot of people when Cyberpunk came out. Oh my god, they've nerfed Netrunners, nerfed them. And I thought, well, all right, Netrunners were stupidly overpowered, but then so was everything else. I mean, there, were, there wasn't... I can't think of a build I created that wasn't ridiculously godlike by the end. The most powerful build prior to 2.0 was um, the Monowire Sandivistan build. Hands down the most powerful. Um, that's probably not going to be that good anymore. Monowire definitely seems to be more of a Netrunner thing. But Netrunner is still stupidly powerful. Stupidly powerful. What is the live stream schedule for BG? Uh, Thursday's definite. Everything else? Up in the air. Wasn't the mass suicide Netrunner bait? best oh mm, i don't know I, I i'm not i can't remember what the best net running uh, hacks were um but i don't remember using the ultimate hacks much i didn't like them as much i do remember that sandivist and katana is op now not quite the most but yeah i mean sandivist and katana was always powerful not as powerful as monowire but that's just because monowire was silly in the uh the original game um, although I do remember seeing a lot of people talk about Monowire and suggest it was utterly useless and I just couldn't believe that. <sighs> but Netrunners now, it, 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 you, you really, you end up using Monowire quite a lot. It, there's a load of synergy with Monowire because of what Monowire does. Um, but also smart weapons. Smart weapons and Netrunning's a thing now. So it all works really well. You can play you can play a netrunner, but you could play a stealthy netrunner, or you could play a gung-ho in your face um smart weapon netrunner, or even a, you know, almost like a armored tank edge runner monowire netrunner. Contagion was also overpowered for early netrunners. Well, Contagion's still overpowered, not as overpowered as Synapse Burnout, but have I watched the Edgerun anime? Nope. Nope. Sorry. Um... Monowire looks like you're assaulting people with dental floss. 
Yeah. But it was the only AOE melee weapon, and it had a range of nine meters. I think the range has actually increased now. I think it's at like more like 10 now. I haven't tested it totally. Frank Rocket and nothing more. Yeah, Rockets were pretty powerful, although I think they nerfed those early on. Netrunner is easy mode, just sit back and watch everyone die. Yeah, but like I said, there isn't a single build I've made that doesn't get overpowered easy mode by level 30. Even on very hard. System collapse that you can use. System collapse is all right. Again, most powerful thing I've found so far in my playthrough is system burnout. Um, to the point where once I figured out how to use it well, once I, once I started experimenting and I found the right mix of uh, hacks to use with it, I then found excuses to stop using it. Because it's just plain silly. Um, you know, it's... Uh, it's, I mean, you can actually play, you could play a stealth Netrunner, and that's ridiculously powerful, obviously. Um, but you can actually play a fairly aggressive Netrunner. Contagion was OP at times. It is, but honestly, like I said, now that I've got high level, it's, I'm actually going, almost trying to go back to Contagion just to make life a little tougher for myself. But none of the builds, none of the builds I've ever come up with no matter what they are, I've ever competed with my Sandivist and Monowire build, which was, I, 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 I actually said that build was broken. I could trivialize every boss in the game, um, especially prior to, I think it was 1.5, which was the, which was the um, patch where they changed Monowire from Blunt to Blade. That was a huge nerf to Monowire. But the the, the Monowire build was still broken even after that nerf. Was it 1.5? Yeah. Yeah, so we, prior to 1.5, the Monowire build was simply stupidly broken. After 1.5, it was just broken, broken. As in, you could trivialize everything in the game. I could kill Adam Smasher um, more or less without taking any damage, just with, mono, just with Monowire. Um, I could... I could probably run into places where you had 30 people, 40 people, and I could sprint through, sprint through, killing every single person in the place with stealth kills with a monowire in like 10 seconds. Less than that, actually. Less than that. Just, just, just run around murdering everyone in a few seconds. Stealth kills. Again, sprinting. It was stupid. <laughs> uh, it's fun though. Oh, uh. so anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the most. Fun. It was fun. I wouldn't have done a let's play like that though, because it was just daft. <laughs> uh, but prior to one point five, because it was blunt rather than blades, you could stun lock. Entire rooms of people. It was so much more powerful when it was uh, blunt instead of blades. Because you could quite literally do the same thing. Run around and just kill everyone with stealth kills. Because, you know, you could kill seven people at once with a single strike. Um, stealth kill. But anyone who wasn't killed, you'd stun them. <laughs> it was insane. <laughs> oh... So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, um, don't know when I'm back again. Thursday for sure with this. Thursday for more of this. Um, and hopefully next Sunday we will have Divinity Original Sin 2 over on Twitch. Um, again, sorry for us cancelling tonight. Uh, I will see you on Thursday for more of this. Thank you and good night.